<laughs> we are on game one. We have not started yet. So if you're just getting here, you haven't missed anything yet. Uh, we all got on video and mic, and now we're just getting our starting hands. Okay, perfect. This is good enough. I'm not going to take my chances and mulligan. So. As long as you can play and have a good time, that's what's important. Yeah. Okay, then it sounds like we're all good to go, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, I'm going to kick it off with a forest and say go. All right, I will draw for turn. My commander is Talran, and I'm playing a mono blue deck. Um, so basically, I'm going to be making some uh, flying drakes. That's my goal. So I'm going to play an island for turn and pass. Is it Shay after Slim or is it me? I don't I know, it's, it's, yours. it's your turn. It's my turn? Oh, crap. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> I draw for a turn. Um, what oh, yeah. will I do? Do you guys mind I will... if I draw my card? I forget every time that it's multiplayer that there's an extra draw. Yeah, go for it. it. Go for... You can go for it. Thanks. I just right. want to let you know what I was doing. Yeah, you're cheating. Um, I'll play a Misty Rain Forest, and I'll pay the one. And I'm going to search my library for a forest or a land island card and put it onto the battlefield. Heck yes. Heck yeah. I believe it doesn't have to go in tabs, correct? It does not. That's sick. Okay. So at the bottom of my deck here, there's four. See it? Forest, nice. And I will tap it, and I will play a. Where the heck did it go? Landmar Elf. I'll go to my graveyard, and I'll end my turn. Oh, my so turn. You're shuffling. Okay, I'll play a command, uh, command tower, and say go. All right, untap, up, keep, draw. Ooh, I'm gonna go with uh, a basic island. Now I'm gonna pass turn. All right, I'm gonna draw. Play my island and pass. Oh my god, you're too fast. You're too fast. <laughs> That's because we're not casting any spells yet. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I draw. I draw for turn. Um, and I play an island, and I will, I'll tap two, and I'll play an incubation druid. Ooh. Yeah. Yikes. What'd that do? He, um, It can add a lot she... of mana, but she has to, uh, adapt it first. Yeah, it can tap for one, and then if I adapt it, it taps for uh, for three instead. Okay. Yeah. Um, and that's it for now on my turn. Okay. I'll draw. I'll play a forest, and I will attempt to cast my commander. Hey, Bae, showing up. Does that resolve? <laughs> I guess. Resolve yeah. for me. Okay. Perfect. Then I'll pass the turn. All right. Uh, untap, upkeep, a draw. I will play. There's like three blue players. Be careful. What? Oh. I'm like, there's three blue players. I have to ask. <laughs> oh. I mean, <laughs> you'll see. I really care more about playing enchantments, and this has an angel theme mm. to it. So, I mean, I might have a couple counter spells in here, but. I feel like the tall rock mm -hmm. player is really who you got to be looking at with that double yeah, blue. Yeah. <laughs> Super sus. <sad. Nah. laughs> um, and let's see. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna fetch for a play. A planes? Does this go basic? I might just go basic. Well, so I got my hand here. Nah, we're going to go for a temple garden. I'm going to take two. And then I'm going to cast my general, Tuvasa. 
and be passing the turn. And no, I can't, I can't dock, I, I'm, I can pull up the cards on the side of spell table for those in chat asking the technical thing. I could only have this card in the, at the commander, I just pulled up because it was uh, above Shay's name. Uh, so no, I apologize, I'm not that fancy. I, I don't have two monitors, so I have to alt tab and it and then it goes to a black screen. So you really only want me to use the side panel. I apologize. Half the card is cut off. Oh, on the dock screen. Only if I hover on it, though, then it's not. I could make the screen smaller, then the play mats would be smaller too, though. Okay, I'm passing my turn. Sorry. Okay, cool. I'm going to uh, draw for a turn. I'm going to play an island. And I will tap three to put out a wind drake. It's a two-two uh, with flying and pass turn. Scary. Okay. <laughs> um, I will draw for my turn. And um, what the heck do I want to do? I will do something really awesome, never done before. Here, I'm going to play this Tangled Florhedron other side, which is a land. It comes in tapped, okay? I don't have tokens because who has time for that? For, like, double-sided cards. Um, and I will tap one, two, three. He taps for mana, and I'll play a Cultivate. Any responses? Nope. Nope. No. It's all good. Very epic. I will search my library for two basic land cards. I'll reveal them and put one onto the battlefield tap. Oh, perfect. There's two right at the bottom. There's an island and a forest for you all to see. And I will put the island tapped and the forest will go to my hand. And I will... I will. End my turn. At mana though. At mana though, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll play a sun petal grow and tap. And I'll play hmm. What should I play? Yes, I'll play a <laughs> I was thinking about that, but <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna play Sylvan Library, and then I'm gonna go to combat. Um, how big is everyone's creatures? I got a two, zero, two. two, one, one, two, two. So we have two, two, twos, and a one, one, and a one, one. Okay, so Zbex, I'll be seeing at you for two. I will take two commander damage. I... Damn. Boom. And one, two, three, four, five, six. That is all. Also, Shay, your playman is making me crave a Timbit. It's it's meant to distract my opponents. Oh, <laughs> is it working? Uh, I haven't thought about those in a long time. Oh, neither did I till tonight. <laughs> uh, I live like one minute away from Tim Hortons. Same. Okay, uh, I am going to... For three, that double green there, I'm going to play... Corsair of Crew Fix. I will play with the top card of my life. Does that resolve? Yeah, you're all tapped out. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can play with the top card of my library revealed. It's uh, a land enters the battlefield under control. I gain a life. It's not a land card. I will play a land and I'll gain a life. Oh yeah, and I do draw a card. Um, you get to see the revealed card from Tuvasa since I cast an enchantment. I'll draw this card. Wait, I should have done that one. That's okay. We're good. And then uh, I've got seven cards in my hand. I'm gonna just pass the turn. 
Oh, it's me. Okay. It's I draw for turn. Oh, untap. Play an island. I'm going to tap three to play Heraldic Bannard. It's an artifact. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, choose a color. Blue. The creatures you control of the chosen color get plus one plus zero. I can also tap it to add a mana of the chosen color. And with that, uh, an MTG girl, you don't have a fl that's not a flying, right? You're one that's no, on I ain't got no flyers. Okay. I. You super scary right now, so I'm going to swing at you with a 3-2 flying. Okay. I'll take it. And then I'll pass turn. Cool. I'll remember that, Soul Ring. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm drawing for turn. Cool. Sorry, untap all these lands. All these lands. Um, what will I do? I'll play a forest. Just a basic forest. I will tap one, two. I think. Probably, yeah. I will play Kinnan. Any responses to that? Nope, Kinnan's on the battlefield. Rut row. He's out and about. Alright. What will I do? So you guys know Kitten's ability, right? You can tap for seven to play uh, non-human from the top five, and also my non-land permanents tap for an extra mana. Okay. Cool. So yeah, this would tap for two. This would tap for two. Okay. Pretty epic. I won't lie to you. <laughs> I'll tap three. Actually, I lied. I'll tap. What the hell am I doing here? I'll tap two, one, and I will play Gillenara, Collar of Wirewood. <laughs> it's a one, two that taps for mana. Um, that can be used to cast a spell with. Oh, and then you draw a card if it's greater than six cost. Yeah. Okay, um, that's it. I will end my turn. Okay, <laughs> Sylvan Library trigger. Look at the top three. No. Just, I just brought a one, putting this back. Ah. So I'll play a forest. And I'm gonna play two. Mm. To nature's lore. I'll search my library for a forest. I'll search for, um, let me see. I'll search for Canopy Vista and it comes in untapped. And I shuffle my library. And um, let me see. Oh, wait, no. Then I guess I'll pay two. Two for seek. I guess I should have done them both at the same time. Save time. And um, um sorry, I'm just pouring water now. <laughs> water the blue down. player pouring water. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Some ASMR for you guys. That's for free. You're welcome. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. Mm. I'll put a temple garden to play tapped, and then I'll go to combat. I have two basics. I have both of them. One there, one there. Um, for the people on the chat. Um, I'll go to combat and 
soul ring, you're the only one that's open. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna swing at you with Amara and my one one soldier. Um, and then when Amara taps, I get another one one soldier. So how much was coming to me in total? Uh three. Okay. And then I gain a life off life life ring. And that is all for me. Okay, I'm going to adjust the... Uh, we've been talking in chat about just moving this window over a bit, so I apologize that it's, like, black for a second. Uh, maybe I can just make it... Sorry. Just move both of them. There we go. Okay. Sorry about that delay. We should be all back now. Okay. Untap, upkeep, draw this command tower, revealing soul snare. Uh, I will play a land and gain life. And then... I'm excited for this. Uh, I'm going to play for five Loyal Guardian. What's that? It's um, one that has Lieutenant. It's a 4-4 four, four trampling rhino. At the beginning of my combat on my turn, if I control my commander, I put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature I control. You know That's what? wild. What? Like what? What? Are you going to counter it? Yeah, oh good. Do it. Occupation druid and oh, you know what? I can't. Wait, can I? No, I can't. Um. No, I need two blue mana. You're lucky. Okay. Um. <laughs> wait, no. I have any type of land yeah. that I control. No, wait, I yeah, yeah I'm it. pretty sure your incubation your incubation <laughs> druid makes blue. I hate to oh, right, say I it, can. but <laughs> that's why I left that open. Okay, that's all good. I'll play a uh, rewind. All right. And on top four lands. Any responses? Wait, do I go? <laughs> what? Go where? I didn't play yet. Uh, no, she's just countering my spell. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, she's no, just... No, because it, 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 it on tops lands, the spell. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, she you just said... None of that. She just did none of that. I'll go get Eleanor as soon as it's no longer my turn, which I am kind of tapped out now. So I guess, um, am I attacking anybody? No, I am not. So let me go, let me call Eleanor and see if she'll come here. All right, pass. Okay. Sorry about that, but that rhino is disgusting. So. Oh, thank you for that. <laughs> I was super scared. Yeah, I was like... No, for, for trample. No, thank you. <laughs> All right, so I drew. I'm going to play a reliquary tower. I have no maximum hand size, and it taps for a colorless. I'm going to tap uh, one, two, three. And I flow. Four, we're gonna do four. And Talran will come out. Who? Uh, my commander, Talran. Talran. So it's a two two. Let's see. Um, let's see. With that, mm -mm, I will pass turn. Oh.
Mm. Fine by me. I have no responses. <laughs> All right. I mean, it's not really okay, but it's gonna happen. <laughs> It is what it is, right? Watch me draw all lands. All right, two, three, four. Do I, I don't have to reveal these, do I? Nope. There's five cards. Mm -hmm. And from these mm -hmm. five cards, I will put down an Apex Devastator. Oh, dang. <laughs> he doesn't activate his Cascade because I'm not casting him, correct? Right. So no, he doesn't. Thank goodness, no. He's just a big, thick boy. Thank you. A lot of heads. What is the power toughness on that fella? It's a 10 10. She's so scary. She's a little scary. Now I know why uh, she didn't want my stuff getting bigger. She wanted the biggest creature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's not my head. I'm looking at my green. Uh, MPG girl, how many uh, untapped mana do you have? Um, I have four. Ugh. What do you Continue. Have, like a counter unless I pay two or something? <laughs> <laughs> Possibly, but continue. <laughs> cool. Um, I guess I will. I'll do something really special here. I'm going to tap for, uh, I'll tap these two guys and I'll play a Garrick's Uprising. So that gives everything trample and I draw a card. Oh, snap. Okay. Is anybody a guard? Does anybody have what? Does anybody what? Scared? <laughs> uh, uh, generally the kid and player I am scared of. Yeah. It's silly. That's, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about me. <laughs> A simple board wipe will just <laughs> end it all. Okay, that that's it? it? I don't think I can do anything. Yeah, nobody can attack. Nobody has haste or anything. So, yeah, I'm good. I, it's over. Okay. I passed turn. I'm tap. And Sylvan Library. One, two, three. Hmm. This is not good. Let me see. But yes, hmm. I am scared to answer your question. I am very afraid. <laughs> Are you afraid of the dark? Because it just had the lights go out. <laughs> I'll pay eight life and draw all three. Oh, word. Yeah, chat approves. Pay eight, yes. <laughs> so I'm going to play a wooded bastion for turn. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna pay two for Thalia, Guardian of Thraven. Yeah. Non-creature spells cost one more to cast. Whose cost more to what? Non-creature spells non -creature for everybody. Spells. Oh, good thing I don't cast them. Can you say that one more time? You kind of cut out there. Oh, sorry. Non-creature spells cost one more to cast. Oh, non-creature. Okay, I thought you said creature. Yes. And is that an enchantment or a... That's a creature. Word. Uh, how much? You have five untapped mana right now? I have five untapped mana. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, now okay. I know not to tap out on my turn. <laughs> All right. And let's see. Hmm. Interesting. Not countered. Okay, so then I'll pay three, four, five to uh, cast a uh, attempt to cast the Seedborn Muse. Ooh. I need that card. It's a good Does one. that resolve? I don't have any counters. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. I'll pass my turn. And I'll untap with Zebex. Yeah, you will. All right, untap, upkeep, draw, reveal. Um, huh, I like that. Um, what do I even want to do with my life? <laughs> right. <laughs> Um, all right. Well, I 
want to play an enchantment because I want to draw a card. Because I want to play a land. Because I want to draw a land. So there you, you get a plus one, right, on your commander? Yeah. yeah, I get plus one, plus one for each enchantment. So currently it's a 2-2. Two, two. Um, it is subjective to how many enchantments I control. Um, I'm going to cast uh, Sage's Reverie, targeting to Voss of the Sunlit. Uh, the text on it reads, when it enters the battlefield, draw a card for each aura attached to that creature. So I draw mm -hmm. one from that, and then it gets plus one, plus one for each aura that's attached to that creature. Cool. Does that yeah. resolve? Yeah. Ah. Sick. So I will draw for casting my first enchantment for the turn. You get to see the revealed information, uh, and I will draw for casting that uh, spell itself. Yay! And then I got to a land. So I'm going to play a land for the turn. Oh, did you pay the one extra z for that one? What? Did you pay the one extra for that one? Uh, because it was a non-creature spell. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, you the one yeah. perfect study. And then um, I will gain my life and return this here forest to my hand because that's what you must do. And then I'm still scared about what's going on. So I'm just going to pass the turn. And I do have um, too many cards in my hand. So I'm going to discard uh, some stuff here. Let's see. On z on your instep, I'm going to tap uh, two. Okay. And I'm going, because it's normally one, but it's one extra. And I'm going to play Reach Through the Mist. It's an instant, which I draw a card. Because I played an instant, I now get to play a 2-2 two, two Flying Drake. That goes into the graveyard. So now it's the beginning of my upkeep, so I'll on top. Okay, I'm going to put uh, this Forest and Crew Fixes inside into my graveyard. So now I have seven. I will play an island. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to tap four and one extra because it's an enchantment. And I'm going to play this enchantment. Uh, Jace's Sanctum. Instants and sorcery spells you cast cost one less. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, scry one. Okay. There you go. That counters the ability. Um, I will swing a, I'll move into combat and swing a three, two with flying to a Z-Bax, just because you're at 39. Okay, that's fair. I've been getting some life. So I'm going to take two, go down to uh, 37. Uh, it's three. I'm going to take three and go down to 36 even. Same difference. <laughs> and with that, I will pass turn. Cool. All right. I'm going to untap my people and my lands. And, okay. Cool. I'll draw four turn. And what am I going to do? <clears throat> you have so many options. I know. So many, so many options. options. <laughs> I've got five cards in my hand. And I've got Kinnon waiting for his ability to be set off. So I guess I'll do that. Um, I'll tap one, two, three. I'm at four. Five, six, I'm gonna leave this open, I think. Um, and I'll tap the druid. Um, he taps for eight, so there's one floating mana. I guess I'll untap one of these. Sure. So if I tap seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'll do Kitten's ability. Any responses? Yeah. yeah. Not for no. me. Sorry, it's like Sesame Street with me here. I can't count. I have to count like six times. Um, oh, you guys are lucky. I think. Did um, you whiff? Oh, 
almost. Uh, I have a uh, five here, and the best thing I can play is a cute little Toski. So. Oh, oh that's, that's actually that's okay. pretty, pretty good. good. You're drawing cards. Yeah, yeah a yeah, lot of cards. <laughs> Just and a then little squirrel. A little squirrel guy. He's pretty cute. Um, and with my remaining mana, I believe I have four more mana left to use. I will pay four to play an enchantment. I will play Aristic Study. Did you pay the one extra? <laughs> <laughs> did you? <laughs> Are you going to? Um, I did, yeah. No, I it was okay. for two. Did I tapped two lands. Okay. I thought you were asking okay, if I paid the one for my own research oh, no. study. And then, like, like, yeah, um, I no. Uh who who wants to get hit for uh, ten trample damage? Not me. I would not dip. I'll not it. Um, Touching my nose. <laughs> thanks so much for the sub, Zareth. Zareth Zeth Zero. Love that. Okay, man. I'm gonna roll to see who I attack. One to seven is Soul Ring. Seven to forty, it is Needle One. Above that is Zebex. Just remember, I haven't attacked you. I rolled a nine, so it's Needle and I'm gonna attack you for ten trample damage. Ooh, that's a big chunky one. All right, I'll take ten. You're gonna take ten. Yeah, cool. I suppose so. And I'm gonna draw a card because I have Toski out. Cool. No. Pretty blessed. No, it doesn't. Eleanor, um, come. I on my turn. I don't think so. Um, okay. No, it's one of our creatures. I, I untap. <laughs> now Sylvan Library. Uh, and I'm gonna A4 to draw two. And I'm gonna tap a colorless to play a spring leaf draw. That costs two. You're not gonna pay um, it again? Hmm? Someone in chat was asking if you're gonna pay eight again. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I should. You're gonna kill yourself. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> now tap two for authority of the consoles. Hopefully that might gain me some life. Creatures enter the battle creatures my opponents enter ah. creatures my opponents control into the battlefield tapped. And I gain a life whenever they do. Boo. Oh, is that not, not cool? <laughs> I mean, it's what fine. Oh, sorry. Can you repeat sorry, that? I'm going to have to tap Amara for mana. Sorry. What What did the, What was that card? Authority, uh, of, the authority of the consoles. I will put it in the chat. Yeah. Yeah, Chris said it's the Toski that you sent me. Thank you. He's very cute. Is that, does that resolve? Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, it resolves. Yeah, yeah. I was yeah. just saying boo because I didn't want my stuff entering tapped. That's <laughs> oh, okay. And yeah, then yeah, I'll yeah. play a mentor. I'm going to play a mentor of the week. What does nice. that do? Uh, whenever a creature power two or less enters the battlefield under my control, I pay one. And if I do, I draw a card. Cool. And that's all I got for my turn, and I'll pass. <gasps> Woohoo! All right. Oh, did you pay for Ristic Study? Uh, I could pay for the Mentor. I didn't pay for the rest of them. <laughs> How many spells did you play? I'm sorry. A three, but you'll only draw for two. Okay, cool, cool. Thanks. Well, then I'll untap with Z-Bags, everything. Yeah. All right. Uh, I am going to draw for the turn. Revealing a planes. 
Um, let's see. What do I want to do? I probably just want to play that one. Yeah. Gain a life. Ooh, I don't want to blossoms. Uh, your namesake <laughs> card. Look at that. You, you better let that resolve if I cast it, blue players. Oh, I can't count it. No. <laughs> I got nothing. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Um, I forgot that I... This is like one of the only decks I play this card in. Um, yeah. I bet it's in your deck. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> uh, my first deck card. All right. I am going to... Yeah, this seems necessary, maybe. Did you cast a spell or no? I haven't yet. I'm probably okay. going to soon. I know you really want to. Uh, I just love drawing. I know you do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm going to play Soul Snare. Uh, I'm going to draw a card for casting an enchantment, my first one of the turn. You pay the one extra for the Soul Snare? Um, I am not going to pay it. Oh, I meant for like the Thalia. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, I will pay the one extra. <laughs> no, no, no. It's like, actually, but no. For Ristic Study down there. No, for Ristic and Thalia. Yeah, sorry. No, no for Ristic Study? No for Ristic Study. You can have cool. it. Oh, amazing. I know, right? <laughs> so nice. Um, and then, uh, I'm gonna play, I mean, what the heck? We're all drawing cards here. It's your freaking namesake. It's a creature spell, so I don't have to deal with Thalia. <laughs> okay. Um, and when it enters the battlefield, of course, I draw a card, revealing another land. Uh, so oh, it enters Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, sorry. That's okay. I'm not attacking with a 2-2 two -two anyway. Um, so I've got a 5-5 five -five general right now. And I'm just going to pass the turn. Okay, I, I have at your end step. I don't know if anybody else does. Oh, okay. you can go. Okay, at your end step, I'm going to tap my spring leaf drum. To tap Amara to float a white. Get a soldier. So I'll have four soldiers, and then I'll pay one to draw a card for the mentor the mage. And that's it. Okay, and I'm so discarding the hand story. size. I'm discarding this planes. Okay. Dark Tap it. Shay, are you playing with sleeves or are they clear? They're clear. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tokens don't have any sleeves. All Wait, right, so there is sleeves I... or no? They're clear. Clear the sleeves. To the tokens aren't in sleeves, though. Okay. I don't That's know. Cool. I don't I'm... sleeve my tokens either. Respect. I'm going to tap three, and I'm going to play this enchantment. It's Propaganda. Oh, Creatures snap. can't attack you unless their controller pays two for each creature they control that's attacking you. Oh, they cost one extra. Um, technically, it, it comes back to neutral oh. because I have this enchantment, oh, which, enchantment? which instance and sorcery spells you cast cost one less. True. The propaganda is an enchantment. Oh, you're right. <gasps> yeah. Um, and I will. <laughs> I gotta tap that one extra. I did. Uh, there's this this here up here is tapping for a thing as well. Cool. Um, with that, I will pass. You're passing? Yeah. yeah. Okay, at your end step, I'm gonna do the same thing. Tap Amara for white, get a soldier, pay white again. You draw a card off of Mentor the Meek. That's it. Might as well. Yeah. Cool. I'll draw for a turn. There's so many things to do, and I don't know what to do. Um, I think I will. Boy, I got on top of my permanence.
Okay, I will. Oh my god, okay, I'll play by my own series familiar. Any responses? It enters tapped. It enters tapped. Activated yeah. abilities cost me two less. Okay. Very cool. I top two for that. So now Kinnon's ability costs five. five. You know what that means? <laughs> yep. Yeah. You're gonna yeah. do it fine. I don't know. I'll tap five. And I'll draw five. One, two, let's see it. Three, four, five. And I will play. Kodama. Okay. That interest tapped. Yeah, you Sorry. You wish. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, no, what what does that one do? Whenever another permanent enters the battlefield under my control, if it wasn't put onto the battlefield with this ability, you may put a permanent card with equal or lesser converted mana cost from your hand onto the battlefield. Oh, and she has reach. She's got reach. Yeah. Okay, one second. <laughs> I will hold the phone on that one. Hold the phone. Put it I, on hold. I will tap three to play Dissolve. Counter target spell and I can scry one. Okay. I guess that works, no? It's not really a spell, it's an activated ability. So, But I guess it works, right? I don't know how that works. That's the counter activated ability, yeah. So it's not right, counting. Right? Wait, what did she say? You can counter an activated ability, right? Well, what, what does she cast? Counter target spell. No, she, that, it has to say counter target activated ability. Oh, it was an activated it one. It, yeah. You, got, you didn't see anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I wasn't watching. <laughs> see, Perfect. Spell, what does it mean? Yeah, is that right? It still does enter tap though. Once you do yeah. That. What was? What was right. How did it get into play? Was it off the uh, off of Kinnon's ability? Off the ability. Kinnon's yeah. ability. Yeah. yeah. You'd either have to yeah. have wait, wait, dis, uh, what, what did you have? Disallow. Dissolve. Oh no! You you would need uh, disallow or stifle. Um, yeah, dissolve doesn't work. Right. All right. right. Fox. Yeah, trick bind. That's Good. the other one. Good to know. Okay, I, I didn't really know that. I just was kind of confused. I was like, how, where, when, what part does that happen? But now we know. That's why activated abilities are pretty good. Uh, generally in Legacy, like things like Aether Vial, you have to counter them when they're cast. Otherwise, all the creatures just get in for free. So, yeah, pretty fricked up. Um, I'll tap. Um, what do I do here? I should probably adapt to this incubation druid but no i can't right now so i'll tap for the skodama tap no he just does permanence you put another one on but he doesn't tap for mana right okay no. um i'll tap for one two um three four and i'll play a kiora uh, behemoth beckoner and with the floating uh, mana, sorry. Wait, she costs extra. Are you? Oh, for a legendary, for a planeswalker. Yeah, not all non-creatures cost one. Oh, extra. okay. So I pay four. Perfect. Okay, okay. And that's okay. I resolve on my end. We have so many triggers on the go. I'm so Every tapped out. Walker. It's all good by me. Okay. Starts out with seven loyalty. Um, I can minus one. I'll bring it down to six. And I can untap uh, permanent. So I'll untap incubation druid. And I will. I guess I'll just tap it again and I'll play a boreal druid and that will come in tapped. And um, I'll move to combat. I think Sadama, Sadama, hold on, MTG girl. I believe Kodama triggers. 
Yeah, he does, but I don't have a one cost. Oh, you don't have one? Oh, okay, okay. I see. Yeah, the true is a one cost, so unless <laughs> I had a one or less. <laughs> but okay, okay. Unfortunately, no. Even, even with uh, Kiora, you couldn't do it? Because you had it for Kiora, too. Oh, shit. Um, I w then I could have just played the, the druid for free. But no, <laughs> everything in my hand is pretty chunky, so I can't. Um, I'll attack. Who should I attack? Who who wants to... Uh, who wants an attack? Not me. Nazga. Um... Z-Bucks put her finger on her nose. Um, so I guess Soul Ring, um, I'm gonna swing at you for 11 with Apex Devastator and Toski because he has to attack. Okay, so what would be the total? 11 damage. Um, I will. And what's the biggest one coming? 10. Oh, you have to pay due to attack for her though. Okay, but you have to oh, attack the one. Yeah, uh, creatures you can't attack you unless their controller pays two for each creature they control that's attacking you. Oh, shoot. Okay, that pretend that didn't happen. z Bex. Yeah. Hey, I, I can't tap anything. So. 10? 11. Uh, just with one creature, though? Uh, Two creatures. Yeah. What's the other creature besides the Apex Devastator? Toski is a one. Oh, he's indestructible. Again, you can still block it though, right? <laughs> you sure can. It doesn't have any other like death touch or anything, right? <laughs> no. Nope. Okay, I'll just block Toski with my Corsair of Crew Fix and take the 10 and go to 27. Okay, I'm I'll draw a card. I'm laughing at Ryan in your chat with my pencil. <laughs> <laughs> You're like the freaking <laughs> Tolarian Academy over here or something. Why can't I type my freaking. What's going on? Oh, you actually do have a pencil. Like a sticky note. All right, I took damage. Did you draw your card? I did. Yeah, I have um, too many cards in my hand. I know. Where are? Where is our reliquary tower? I would. What I would have liked that by now. What do I get rid of? I don't know what to get rid of. <laughs> Should I don't know. I'll get rid of the greater good. That's gonna go to my graveyard. Okay. All right. I end my turn. Okay, at your end step, I'll tap my spring leaf drum to activate Amara. I'll get another token. I'll pay one for Mentor the Meek and draw a card. And I'll untap for a turn. Then I'll Sylvan Library. Holy shoot. I'm not tapping my, my guys here. Um, I have to, to think about this before I draw this. <laughs> That's a lot of counting. I don't like that. You're right. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. 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 Scary. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I can't. Okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna pay 12, draw, draw three. <laughs> Jeez. I can't, I don't have any. So I'm gonna pay two, or this is just one mana, I'm kidding. One, two, three, four. Actually, this will cost. No way. Actually, hold on. Um, I don't know what to do. Let's see. <laughs> you can just Sorry, pass like your turn. That's an option. Well. Just let to let you know. Hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna try. Let's try this. I'm gonna tap four because I have to pay one extra for my stuff too. Mm -hmm. oh. Aura shards. Shards. What's that? Aura shards. Whenever a creature comes into play under my control, I destroy target artifact or enchantment. Ooh. 
But did one you sec. pay the one for Rhystic Study? <laughs> I'm not. I will not. Cool. Um. Is that resolved? Mm, one sec. Okay. I will tap three. Mm -hmm. Right, dissolve on that. Destroy target okay. spell, scry one. Mm -hmm. Destroy? Or counter? Is counter target counter? spell. Okay. Cool. That counts what? Oh, yeah. No, yours costs regular. Did you okay, pay cool. the one? Uh, no, you can do your thing. <laughs> oh, I don't even want to do my thing. Shit. That should have been okay, in there. Perfect. My... So then I'm going to tap three and tap my Springleaf Drum to tap Amara for four mana in total. And I'm going to ask Beastmaster Ascension. Beast to what? Beastmaster Ascension. Whenever a creature I control attacks, I put a quest counter on it. Whenever it has seven or more quest counters, creatures I control get plus five, plus five. <laughs> Absolutely. Plus five, plus five, plus five. Uh, do I be cringe? We're all cringing. Huh? So do I do something cringe or no? You can. Like what? Yeah. What type oh, of cringe? Well, this one has so many cringes. It's okay. Does no, that I resolve? Think... Yeah, it resolves. Okay. Okay, so I'm at that 15. That is wild. Life. Yeah. I am at 15 life, so I'm going to go to combat right now. How do you gain a quest counter? I'm sorry. Whenever, Whenever a creature, a creature attacks. attacks. So as soon as I go to attack. They're going to get plus five, plus um, five. They get the, yeah, they get yeah. the. So just remember who hasn't attacked you all game. Just throwing that out there. Okay, so ready? I'm going to go to combat now. Mm -hmm. We're oh, buckled in. Is... Oh, Soul Ring, I can't swing at her because I'm broke. Just, you don't have mana? Girl. <laughs> no. Well, that's a lot of soldiers. Um, So I'm going to go to combat and I'm going to swing. Mm. I just uh, what took, do I want to do? I just took 10, I'll remind you. Okay, so I'm going to swing three soldiers at... I'll swing four soldiers at Zbex. Okay. And three soldiers and a mentor of the meek onto uh, MTG Girl. How much damage... Do that That'll put the quest counters on my Beastmaster Ascension. <gasps> so they're they're each one ones, so they're each six sixes, correct? Yes. And my mentor of the meek is um uh five, it says seven seven. Ah, see. So how much damage is that total? For you, MTG girl, that'll be a lot. Oh my god, man. <laughs> that'll be a lot. <laughs> well, I'm is not it, gonna is it is it 27 or is it six for each? Yeah, it's, it's going to be six for each one. So I'm and swinging, I believe. Did I say I'm swinging four at Z-Bex? Yeah, you said, you said you're four at me. I got four at you and three at MTG Girl and the Infantry of the Meek at MTG Girl. Okay. So that's six. 18. So 25 damage. 25 at MTG Girl and uh, I'll take 24 it. at Z-Bex. Okay, so, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and gain... Six times. Oh my gosh, you have lifelink? You have, oh. oh. Yeah, my soldiers have lifelink. So I'm going to go ahead and gain. <laughs> and again, was, that? was that 37? 12, 18. Six times six. 36. 36. 36 plus 15, that is. 36 plus 15. I don't have my calculator. Crazy. 51. I'm good at Google Maps. 51, thanks. I'm at 51 with life now. I got gotcha. you. And then I'm going <laughs> to go ahead and pass the turn. Um, um, I, I, I blocked. I want to say I blocked two of them. And okay, I took okay. 12. Okay. Before you pass the turn, if you can finish yes. the damage. <laughs> okay, perfect. I'm at 15. These go away. This goes away. You're 51 life, Jesus. Okay. My God. The tables have turned. Yeah. Okay, so is this all good? I'm gonna I'm gonna go to pass my turn now. Okay. And I pass turn and I untap with Zebex. Sure you do. 
All right. Um. So, Soul Ring, I just want to confirm that you're tapped out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I was going to talk to you anyway and make sure you didn't counter this, but now that you're tapped out, we don't even, like, have to do any chit-chatting. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to play... You do you. Wait, and MTG oh, girl, God. you got any uh, mana untapped? No. Okay. I'll play my land for the turn. Um... And I'm going to I don't even know. Uh yeah, it's and you've got just Kinnon untapped. Correct. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna attack number two at Kiora. Yeah? Yeah. You'll attack cure. For, cure for two? Yeah. Cure will take it. We're at four. All right, all right. Um, and then I'm going to go wha-bam for a martial coup. That is uh, if X, uh, I'm doing X for five, create five one one white soldiers. If X is five or more, destroy all other creatures. Oh, my um, God. I have to one more for that. Oh, damn it. I freaking do. I don't have enough mana yeah. to do that. Um, you, pay the, you pay the one? I can't. I, I can't pay <laughs> X equals five. I know. I'm sorry. I, I lied. This is still tapped. Um, I don't have enough mana to do that. Well, damn. damn. Well, yeah, because creating four soldiers doesn't really do anything for me. Okay. Psych! <laughs> uh, well, damn. All right. Well, that sucks. I need to draw soldiers. some land. I'd, I'd give her mana. I don't have any. So therefore, I know, and we're not doing like an extra life game, so I don't have any donation <laughs> incentives. Um, I'm going to instead pay one, two, three, four, four. Let me wipe that open. I guess. I'll play, I'm paying the extra for Dahlia for ever watching Threshold. Um, and I'm going to pay the one for Ristic Study because I have so much extra mana. <laughs> nice. Uh, and then I'm just going to pass the turn. Well, actually, I have end step. I don't know if anybody okay. does. You go oh, for God. it. Okay, end step. I'm gonna nature's claim the propaganda, and I will pay the one oh. heuristic study as well. Oh. oh, also in Zbex in the chat, people are saying you had. Oh, I do does your mana tap for two? Oh, my simic growth chamber. Oh, well, uh, do you guys care if I board wipe still then before you do your stuff? <laughs> oh, well, then. well, damn. Yeah. I'm okay yeah. if we've just passed. I've already gone past it, so I don't know how to okay. play magic. So that's why I'm asking you okay. guys. Nah, we're done. We're past it. I'll save it for next turn. Okay. I mean, you can also roll a dice too. I mean, I don't care. Nah, it's fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna nature's claim soul rings propaganda. Cool. Uh. And what does what does that go? It goes to the uh. Cards. Destroy target artifact or enchantment, you gain four life. So just to my graveyard? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I'm just going to tap my spring leaf drum to tap Amara to get another soldier. Oh, I'm at eight soldiers now, so. You're scary. You and I'll so draw a card. Oops, I should. Your soldiers aren't tapped, eh? No. I tap them all for... Anyways. Oh, yeah, my creatures get plus five, plus five. Mm. Oh, no, I can't draw a card. Sorry. Do they increasingly get plus five, or just they stay? No, no, they just get uh, plus five. It's just static. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. Uh, are you done with your uh, step there, Shay? Yes. Okay, cool. For everybody in chat, I did preface the game that sometimes I don't read my cards, and this is just proof of what I told you was going to happen. Yeah, same. Did she yeah, pay the one? I don't think she did. Or no, she did pay the one, never mind. 
I did. Cool. All right, I played my land for turn. Love that. And I will pass the turn. That's it? Mm. Yeah. Cool. All right. Okay. Untap all these friends here. Lots of friends I have. I don't even have space for them. I'm sorry. Um, like what? What do I do here? They're all here. Everybody's here. Okay. I'll draw for turn. Right, I didn't draw. I don't think I did anyways. Um, I'll play forest. You gotta get this, MTG girl. You're our last hope. I'm your last hope, eh? <laughs> we're not gonna make it to the next turn for my board wipe. Most, you know that we're not likely, gonna let this happen. Most, most likely, no. Um, Shay, what are your creature costs? Like, what are, like, the soldiers are zero, but what is, like... Yeah, they're, yeah, they're they, their mana cost is zero. Mm -hmm. Mara costs two, Thalia costs two, Seedborn Muse costs five, Ooh. Enter of the Week costs three. What will I do? Um, do you have any mana open? All of it. Huh? All of it. Because the be, Seedborn, be she has so much money. Okay. You're not running blue, though, so I'm sure it's okay. Um, how much mana do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember everything. Non creature spells cost one more. Um, That's true for your math. 11, 12. Oh, 13. 14 mana I have. I think I can spend if I counted that right. Six, 10, 12, 14. Yeah, okay. So I guess I'll do something fun. Um, I'll tap you do like fun. all these except for one. Please don't counter me. Um, I will tap 13. And I'll play Emrakul. The promised end. Thick. Thick. So, um, oh, you know what? It costs one less for each type of card. Yep. In your graveyard. In my graveyard, my bad. I also don't read my card Z Bucks. <laughs> Enchantment, sorcery, instant, land. So that's four different types, correct? It enters the battlefield tapped. Yeah. Sure. You all, you um, know but when it enters the battlefield, I can gain control of target opponent um, during that player's next turn after that turn. Um, that player takes an extra turn. Do you know about Ooh. the cat's pile? You know, do you know about cat's pile? No. Okay, I'm gonna type it out in chat real quick while you're doing stuff. Cool. Um, just uh, in response to how much mana do you have on, uh, untapped there, empty girl? Um, five. I'm just gonna do something in response to the uh, your big thirteen thirteen. Are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> yeah. It's gonna shut down Shay. She's gonna win the game. Will you not attack me for one turn? Uh, sure. Okay. You can continue. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Cat's Pile is creature, artifact, tribal, sorcery, planeswalker, instant land, enchantment. That's how you can remember for all eight Tarmogoyf things, which apply to Emrakul as well. For types. Card types. Cool. Yeah, I had four different types in my graveyard, so I just, I didn't tap four. Yeah. Anyway, um, and then also, that. because he's at 13 cost, I can play another card with um, equal or lesser cost, I believe. Thick. <laughs> so, um, who should I play? How do I screw up our lives here? Um, I guess I can cast an Ugin the Spirit Dragon. <laughs> One more as well. It's true. <laughs> yeah, I, I play him for free. Oh, oh he's entering yeah. from the. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, I forgot to draw a card for the for um 
Garrick's Uprising. Oh, yep. shit, I could have played this card. This card is good, too. Um, I will... Shay, how do I ruin your life here? Sick Borderlands um... Ugin, by the way, says chat. Yeah, I also draw... I know. I Oh, I draw a card from Kiora, too? Oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot to do that. Thank you. Um, you know what? I'll minus one from Kiora as well, and I'll untap Emrakul. Um, and I think I'll use, um, Ugin comes in with seven, um, loyalty, and I kind of want to do a mini board wipe here. I support that decision. I just will support that. Okay. I'll support that. For how much, though, I'm wondering, because if I minus more than two, um losing some but like the seaboard muse is your biggest creature which is a five just five mana cost yeah yeah i could minus for five but does that hurt everyone else i don't care do it yeah. what does that do i think the smart uh, choice is to do the five all creatures with five mm -hmm. mana cost or less that are colored one color or more get exiled yeah the fact that she's unable able to untap all of her lands and continue yeah. producing even when she yeah. gets Samara back out would be it would be yeah. pretty yeah I, I would even me that's I'm... fine that's super okay. fine. i love yeah. how honest you are i'm always that way too i'm like no if you really want to know what the best move is you probably should do that <laughs> yeah cool all right well minus five ugin then so all the little Guys, we'll hit the graveyard. Rest in peace, my friends. Mm -hmm. And I'll move my cannon back to the command zone. Sounds good. At least I have lots of big creatures. And I, I believe all mine are gone, eh? It's uh, one color or more. Yeah, all, oh, permanents. It's all permanent. So enchantments oh. and artifacts included. And they're in wild, land. correct? Not lands. Yes, yeah, they're, they're exiled, so I guess that's even beyond the graveyard, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Tell the graveyard, sad, right? too. Okay, I'll put mine into the second graveyard. Except for, the, does the commander just go back to the command zone? You have the choice whenever your commander changes zones to move it back to the command zone, whether it's exile, graveyard, etc. Top of library hand. Okay, he's back in the command zone. He's just chilling. Um, I actually lose my Cura, that's okay though. Um, so, so Chad is pointing out, like, uh, your Heraldic Banner, if it's colorless, it's only colored permanents. So, yep. any- Oh, you still have that. Okay, good. I just couldn't see it. Perfect. I was like, I don't want you to lose your artifact. Yeah, unless it has a color, but it does not. I have, um, five mana open still. What do I want to do? Um, I have a lot of spring leap, my spring hand. leap drum. Who had that? Me. Oh, that one's thing. Thank That's you, right. angels. Chat's gotcha. My God, chat's on the ball. I know they oh, may be watching. I guess I'll play um a growing rights of um Itlamog. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. You only have three creatures one. right now, though. Um, so look at the top four of your library moon field creature card, put it in your hand, put the rest in the bottom. Um, if you control four more creatures, transform it into a land, so I control three. So sad. Um, I'll just look at the top four, one, two, three, four. Emrakul is tapped? I untapped him with Kiora. Okay. Or her. Um, and I also take someone's turn, so do, can I take Shay's turn? Or do I, like, how does that work? I honestly have never gotten to use Emrakul's ability before. Um, the question is, how do you do it through the camera? Oh, right. I guess you yeah, would just, that's... yeah, you'd have to reveal all the information. Or you could DM, you could go to I Discord. Like, and... I don't want to really <laughs> to you guys. Um, okay. I'm I'll putting Salvala yeah. in my hand. Okay, so hold on. I have to Instagram. I'll Instagram DM MTG girl. <laughs> okay. Can I just like sacrifice all your stuff? <laughs> no. Yeah, but wait. Um, I'm you have not to have a sack outlet though. Sorry. You can't just sacrifice oh, just it without a sack outlet. 
I have two. Um, sorry, I had two untapped lands, I think, from that, because I tapped three. But I can't mm -hmm. do anything, except I have Kodama's ability, so I can put another permanent onto the battlefield. Um, did I have to tap an extra? No, because that card got exiled, right? The one that makes you pay more? It got exiled. It got exiled, okay. Um, with equal or less, so I'll play Life Craft Crafter's uh, Bestiary as well, because it's a three cost. Same cost as the other card. Um, just to get it out there. Sure. And I will... Um, so I'll discard some cards, I guess. Or I guess I don't have to do that yet, do I? I don't know. I will um, say this is interesting, because this is also my first um, Emrakul hand taking over that I've experienced on yeah. webcam magic, not just on stream, but on webcam magic so it's kind of exciting yeah i've only ever casted it with kinnon's ability so to play it from my actual hand i'm like what do i do it's flying trample and protection from instance um so i have 20 29 damage i can shoot out here Jesus. um they don't have haste right um oh, some of them do okay Oh, right, they, they don't have haste, right? So I don't have 29. I lied. Um, I have uh, 16 damage I can deal. So I'll... Um, Shay, I'm going to hit you for 16. Oh, yeah, she That's has good. 52 life. Oh, you have 15 life? <laughs> no, 52. She has 52. Yeah, well, somebody's um, got to knock that down. Um, um, we have 36. 36. And then I guess I get... So I don't know. I still don't know how this works. Does anyone know how this works? What are you asking? Um, you gain control of target opponent during that player's next turn. After yeah. that turn, that player takes an extra turn. So basically, you get to do, and you get to see their hand cards in hand. You get to draw their card for a turn. You get to go through their main phases. You get to go through their combat phases. But she doesn't have really any creatures. So, like, um, but yeah, you get to like, basically, you if they have removal spells in their hand, you usually want to like use their removal spells on their own stuff or like um like you said if they do have a sack outlet then you want to sack their stuff um but basically Ew. you just get to look at their hand and you get to act like they're them but you can make legal decisions that are bad you can't make illegal gameplays and then the reason she gets an extra turn after that to resume and like have her turn like normal oh i'm trying to like read the little text here that you sent me so I'll end yeah. my turn, um, and now I'm looking at your cards for your turn. So oh, did, you draw, draw did you draw? I'll send you the one that I just drew. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, you're gonna send me what you drew? I'm not gonna take the whole picture because like this, like that. Someone actually asked you to cook them okay. something because they controlled my turn. <laughs> What the heck is that? Oh, I'm sorry. I'll send them to you individually. Or let me try it like this, maybe. That's uh... tricky. Okay, <laughs> so I'll just do it like that. This is great. Your hand's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> now you know why she didn't want to just say it. <laughs> How much um, mana do you have? Um, Two, four, six, seven. Seven. Why is it not letting me open the photos? It's just like, oh, shit. No. Okay. Well, can I give your cards for me? No, you can no. only do anything you can actually do with the cards, so. Okay. It's like, you like, can't steal my stuff. No. <laughs> Just, just think like if you were like the worst magic player, like the things you would not want to do with the cards, I guess. I guess. And on, on the deep breath re redemption, I just want to share some great news, everybody. I can breathe without moving my chest. I can breathe through my, only my rib cage now. Isn't that awesome? What a what a great what a great talent to have. <laughs> oh, I honestly don't. I didn't expect this hand. <laughs> um, I don't. Well, you can I don't think you could ruin anything. I need a setup board for all of this in order yeah. for it to be ruined. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was gonna say I. I'm feeling like, given the fact that Shay currently has 
no creatures on board, there's far less options of things that you get to yeah. do to mess up her board because her board just yeah. got wrecked. Yeah. yeah. And what's the artifact you have out do? Uh, it taps a creature for mana. I have to have a creature to tap it. Oh, I guess I don't really know what to do with your hand to be honest. Um, I'll just I guess like tap two, and I'll play your instant. Okay, so that's a fog. Okay, yeah, yeah, that, yeah that's what yeah. you do. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, like with on, looking at my hand and the board being wiped, I don't know what you'd do in my hand either. Like you just wouldn't want to play any of these things. They wouldn't yeah. make any sense. I'm just like, how do I get those into the graveyard? But you can't. Unless you have yeah. like, a creature that could sacrifice your creatures. But unfortunately, no. no. Um, yeah, that's. Mm -hmm. I'll just tap your mana and end your turn. You can go back. Yeah, there you go. And then it's my turn again, right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Back in regular <laughs> turn order. Yeah. Taking, it taking just makes turn. it a card. That's something. Taking extra turn is a Lesnia player. <laughs> So I'm gonna tap one. I'll tap my wooded bastion on here because it's colorless. A soul ring. Soul ring. Pew, pew, pew. Um, and I'll tap four. One, two, three, four. For my commander. Her hand's scary. That was all. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> it's fine by me. Um. Let's some um, one, two, three, five. I'll attempt to cast. I know it's gonna get countered, but that's fine. Um, anointed possession. It doubles my tokens. Ooh. And can you read it? I just it won't bring it up. Here. Yeah. If an effect would create one or more tokens under your control, it creates twice that many instead. And you're tapped out, eh? I have one mana well, that I could create now. You can continue. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, I'll just... Um, play my that. land for turn. Selesnia Sanctuary. Bouncing the command tower back to my hand, and that's it. I'll pass turn. Okay. Okay. We love to see another day. Um... Untap, upkeep, draw, and now I know that this adds two mana. I, my problem is I had it stacked over there. I need to keep it separate. And that is how you learn, my friends. You got to experience it. Um, oh, that's kind of fun. It costs an extra two to play your commander, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. For each time that it's gone to the command zone. All right. Well, Thalia's gone. The all the stuff is gone, right? Ristic Study's gone. The only thing that's not gone is that Ugin. Okay. Yeah. You're like that's a problem. Ugin uh, and Emrakul. Yeah. And an Emrakul and an Apex Devastator. Okay, I can't do anything about those creatures. Just well, look, actually, I could. Well, now I could just do that. <laughs> um, oh, true. I mean, I think I kind of want to, actually, because that stuff is pretty scary. It doesn't deal with Ugin, but Ugin's pretty low right now. Um, oh, Who but wait. Yeah. Wait, yeah, what's three? Ugin at? That's important, actually. Two. Oh, damn. Is it two? Okay. Damn, I hate Ugin. It's not that great, actually, for what I have. Um... Oh, but that Emrakul. Yeah, we, ha we just have to do it right now. There's no reason not to. Uh... What are you playing? You're not gonna counter this, are you? I'm gonna. No, he just has protection from instance. Uh, it's a sorcery. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna play martial coup where X equals um. One, two, three, oh, four, five, six. Really so I'll destroy all other creatures and create six one one white soldier tokens. Creatures. 
That's like two board wipes in like such a small amount of time. That's awesome. I know it was super fast, but yeah. the Emrakul and the Apex Devastator were really kind of scary. And oh my um, gosh, yes. So and like that's that's lethal for me. And um, so now we're oh, back. Was yeah. If 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 I was to be attacked, yeah. So. I feel like that's pretty good for me. I'm going to play a land for the turn tapped because I don't know how to play magic. And I'm going to pass turn. Awesome. <laughs> so I will draw for turn. Cool. I'm going to tap. Do We We don't have anything on the board right now that like we have to pay an extra thing, right, Shay? Mm -mm. Uh, no. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Mm-hmm. To bring out my Talran. Okay. And I will pass turn. Damn, okay. What did you play? Uh, my Talran. Who's that? Uh, it's my commander, so it's a 2-2. Two -two. Oh, right, right, okay. Talrand, okay. Uh, yeah, well, untap my mana. Um, drawing for turn. Um, I'll play Yava Maya Coast land. It can tap for green or blue, and it does one damage to me. Uh, how much mana do I have? I have three, six, seven. I don't have three creatures. Um, oh, I forgot the scry one at my upkeep. That's fine. Whatever. I wanted that anyways. It's fine. Um,. Seven mana, what will I do? Um, no, no. I guess I could do that. Um, I'll tap three plus four. Um, I'll play a Nyx Bloom Ancient. Wow. And um, who's got what out right now? I'm going to probably Ugin something. So I just have tokens I out. I only have, I have a one, I have six one ones. Six one ones. Um, what do you got, Shay? Enchantments. <laughs> Not effect. Alright, so ring what you got. You got a commander out? You said it was a, a what? Two, two, a 2-2 two, two and an artifact. Alright, your 2-2 two, two has got to go, sorry. 3 damage to the 2-2. Two, two. Would that be called a spell, or is that just an activated That's ability? That's an activated, activated ability. ability. Or, uh, what's it called? Um, loyalty ability? I don't know what you call it. It's still an activated ability. It's an ability. Yeah, plus two. And what, what's your Yugen at? He's at five now. Uh, no. He's at four. Because it's plus two, but he does three damage. Unless I guess, could I, could I do uh, one thing in response to that before that heads out? Probably, um, yeah. Let's do... Tapping two, and I'm going to play uh, and I'm going to play into the royal. Um, return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand to your to your planeswalker. Yeah. So would that then be a Drake, and then that goes to my graveyard or my command yeah. zone? Mm hmm. That's cool. That means I get to Ugin again. Oh my god, damn. <laughs> Later. But, oh, I forgot oh, yeah, to take yeah, one yeah. life. Cool. Um, that's all I can do for now. Oh, what does Nick Bloom do? Um... He just taps a permanent for three times the amount of mana instead of what it would originally oh, tap for. <laughs> Yeah. That's it. He just, he just taps for triple mana. Yeah, so does that mean my lands tap for triple mana? 
If it says permanent, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Oh. Makes your... Right. Uh, I totally misplayed. Right. That's okay. It's fine. <laughs> okay, I get to play Ugin again. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, if she's going to Ugin again... Well, I don't have I to. Well it, I might as well make it kind of... Three, four, five, six. Do I have a graveyard shuffler? I just realized that. Oh! Thick. Okay. Vorniclex? The old Vorniclex, one. Yeah. Yuck. Then I'll pay four. I'll have one mana floating. Okay. And I'll play it Squirrel's nest. Ooh. Squirrels! I'll make squirrels um, onto a basic forest. Yeah, Vorinclex my favorite. So, <laughs> why is it your handle just... Vorinclex then? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you mean? There's a Nyx Bloom on the board. <laughs> I don't want to exile my Nyx Bloom. How much does Nyx Bloom cost? Uh, seven. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. And pass turn, pass turn. How much does Vorinclex cost? Seven. Eight. Eight? Seven. Oh, eight. Sorry. Yeah, eight. Yeah, I can't even exile that shit. Um, untap, upkeep, draw. Huh. Huh. Oh, shit. Um, well, it's not really that much of a problem at this moment. Uh, hmm. Um, what do we got to do here? I'm really scared about the, the Vorinclex and not being able to do anything next turn after I tap my lands. Uh, oh, can they not untap? Yeah, Vorinclex's no. second clause says whenever an opponent taps the land for mana... That land doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. So it's kind of like a, a one round freeze. Vorinclex does that? Yeah, the, yeah. the, the old, original Vorinclex. It was the right, original right, right. Vorinclex. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I saw it earlier when you sent it to me. But it was, I didn't read that. <laughs> uh, well, shoot. Uh, I guess. And it's a seven six. Yep. Jeez. All right. Well. I'm going to play for one, two. Three, four. Well, let's type, tap these ones first. There we go. Six. I don't really want to do that. But I guess it would work. I don't want to do that. All right, fine. We're just going to go like this. I'm going to play um, Areth Mathis Slumbering Isle, who enters with five slumber counters. What does that do? It's just a land. Um, currently, it's not a creature. Uh, each time I cast a spell, I get to remove slumber counters from Eryxmethes. I can okay. tap it to add a blue and a green. Um, which, it's not summoning sick because it's a land, right, chat? I actually haven't really cast this card much. I don't think it could be. Well, it's a creature, it's not even though as long as it has slumber counters on it, it's a small land. Well, I don't remember how that card reads. Let me see. I got yeah. I was like, okay, I gotta go gather this. I don't remember. J Kyoji, tell us the rules of this card. I don't have. I don't ever actually cast this card. Someone said enters tapped. So it enters tapped. 
Oh, it does date at the top. Well, there you go. That solves. I remember not being able to use it the first time I played it. There we go. That solves the problem of wanting to use it if it enters tapped. Thank you. Yeah. Like I said, I don't actually read cards. That's what chat's for. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad I'm not alone and not reading. That's awesome. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to cast for five Starfield of Nyx. Ooh. At the beginning of um, my upkeep, I can return an enchantment card from my graveyard to the battlefield. And then when I control five or more enchantments, um, each other non-aura enchantment is a creature and has its uh, power and toughness mm -hmm. equal to its CMC. Um, so I'm just chilling over here. Don't worry about me. I'm still not the problem. <laughs> Born Clex is still the problem. My lands are, all of my stuff's not going to untap. That's why I'm getting free stuff. Uh -huh. And, Original. uh, you've all got, but there's a on the board. I I'm going to, I'm going to pass. Okie dokie. I untap for turn, and I draw, and I'll play an island. I am going to do one, two, and I'm going to play this instant, technically what I should have done last time. Return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand, um, and I'm going to do that with my tall ran to bring it back to my hand. Oh, okay. I'm using your command zone. Oh. Yeah, so then she doesn't have to pay the command costs, like, the extra two, because it's dead? Um, no, non-land permanent to your hand. It has to be on the battlefield. Oh, oh it does? Weird. Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's sick. Really? Good dog. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, also, I think man. someone redeemed Pet the Pup, and I missed it on my turn a while back. I apologize for whoever that was. Eleanor, come! Oh, she went outside? Okay, sh she'll get here in a second. That was a while ago. I apologize. No, sorry. That was me laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was Tony. Good. Tony will... Eleanor will get in here before you go. What's going on? I'm going to tap six. Oh, I'm laughing because Rin... Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put Tall Rand back out. And I will pass turn. Cool. All right. Pretty sad looking board here, but it's okay. Draw for turn. Yes, it's still game one. Mm -mm. <laughs> Well, I do. Try okay. one. Um, You're I guess I tap for triple now, right? Yeah. So I can tap for um, three green and I guess like three blue. I don't know. Can I cast? Should I cast Kinnon? I can cast Kinnon for mm -hmm. four, right? Right. So I have two floating. Eleanor, come. Um, what will I do? Um, so this can tap for three. I guess I'll tap it for three colorless, so I don't have to pay life. Um, Eleanor. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, I don't even need that. A six. Um, seven, eight, nine. Um, I guess I'll play, um, anyone got mana open? Do a little bit. I see some mana open. Um, I'll play expropriate. Okay, letting you know though that your lands will not be able to untap next turn. Fox. 
All right. Major fact. Uh, <laughs> so starting with you, each player votes for time or money. For each time vote, it take an extra turn. After this one, for each money vote, choose a permanent owned by the voter and gain control of it, and then exile the card. This is starting with you, right? Yeah. What's happening? Can I just take an extra turn? Like, what? Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. What did you cast? All right. Uh, you you're going to give me a turn? Yep. Soul, soul ring. What do you want? Or Z -Bex. Oh, Z -Bex. oh, um, yeah. We're voting for. Do you want to do time or money? Money, money. Right. Wait. Or, that's the that's the extra turn, right? Oh, no. time. Time is extra turn. Money is give me one of your cards. Oh, from my hand. Wait. No, what? from your battlefield. battlefield. Oh. Um. I think I pick. Do I pick? I don't know. Sorry. What what card yeah, is you being cast pick. right now? What am I missing? Express appropriate. Oh, expropriate. Thank you. Yeah. Um. Uh. Wait, so and I what did you vote for, Shay? Time. I'm giving her time. Oh, yeah, okay. If you gave me money, I would take her more to Clex. Oh, oh, no. oh, okay. Um. Yeah. I chose time for myself, I think. She would have. Unless... Would she get three turns. extra turns? Yeah, she would get three if you say time. Oh. No, I just... Yeah. You can have money from me. I don't have much. Uh, okay. And do I vote, or do you pick the permanent now? No, you you have to vote as well. Uh, money. So, two permanents. Okay, so, um... What do you have, Z-Bucks? Um, I have six one-one soldier tokens. I have uh -huh. an Eryx Mythes, the Slumbering Isle, which is a land with five slum or four slumber counters on it, because I cast this. Um, and I have, is it permanents or creatures? Permanents. Permanents. Uh, Starfield of Nyx. It gets enchantments from your graveyard. Woo! Do I have any in my graveyard? Only one at each upkeep. Um, that's what I've got. I think, honestly, a Rixmithies with your deck would probably be the most advantageous, even though it has the Slumber Counters on it. Okay, I'll take that, even though I don't, I will just have to imagine what it does, or you can tell me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, here, I'll pull it up on, I, I don't know if you're, I think you're watching, I'll put, I'll put it up on the screen right now for you. Cool. And then, um, Sol Ring, what do you have? I have a uh, Talran, which is my commander, it's a 2-2, and a flying 2-2 Drake. Okay, I'll take your commander. I don't know how to do this. That's okay. <laughs> you can steal anything, even lands. So, should I just put it here? Oh, you can take lands? Word. Yeah, you take Are you letting too. her take your commander? <laughs> oh, no, no. MTG girl gets to pick what she's taking. Oh. Yeah. So well, she's taking the commander. Wait, and then that gets two extra turns because I choose for myself, right? What happened? So how many lands on top? I, I think you can make your commander go back. I think, I don't know if you want to target that because I think when she, when, when you have the option to, whenever a commander changes zones, for it to go back to your command zone, right? Or am I wrong? I don't know. It's not changing zones, though. It's still on the battlefield. Oh. Oh. Because it's not changing zones. Okay, it's just psych. staying in the battlefield. Clearly my first expropriate. I'm, I'm, this is my okay. first expropriate experience. Yeah, it's kind of hard over uh, thing. So, sorry about that. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're over there. Chilling together. Look at battlefield that. Battlefield battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> um so if i take two turns like how does the land topping work i'm sorry um okay so for your first extra turn you can't untap your lands cool the, the second click. one i can or no the second one you can all right what do you got out you have one for what for eight for eight that's stinky um yeah so i guess i just get like um 
two extra permanents. It's actually not that good, but um, so I have basically six mana here, just hanging can out. I do, can I do something in response? Are you done of um, your expropriate card? Um, I guess yeah. It's like like, like you you took card. you took this right. Sure. So you're doing. Is it already done stuff? Uh, no, I, I I was gonna do an instant in response to the expropriate. Oh, okay. oh fuck! Well, no, it would. Be it would good, be... But it kind of already happened. But I don't know. Well, we well it's not. I guess not necessarily about that card, but I guess. What, you just what is it in response to? Uh, no, not not a response to a spell or anything. Oh, what I guess you can play. Answer? Like if it's an instant, you can. Well, no, I would have to. You can't do it in response to expropriate, though. You would have to wait. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, it's it's, play. okay. Because it's not technically to the card, but always. No, no. So I don't know if Zbex is going to do it, or I'm sorry, MTG Girl is going to do anything else. Is anyone else open? I have five trample. <laughs> I have one uh, one. They're small, so I technically am open-ish. How many one ones? I have six of them though, so ah, I don't want you to kill my next bloom. Um, Adolin's not really open, and then Soul Ring. What do you have out now? Just the two two Drake. Uh, uh, which is technically a three two because of Carol's banner. Okay, I'll swing at you for five at my end or at my combat phase before my end step. Okay, I will take that. Cool. Okay. And then anything else, or no? Do I just take another? Turn? Yeah, I just have one thing there. Well, at your end step. well I, I got something at the end step because it goes okay. this way, right? Go for it. Yeah, yeah. So I'm just gonna tap my forest to make two squirrels. That's all I got. And then, I... then, then, you, then it's at the story. Zbex. Yeah. What? Zbex, do you have anything on your the her end step? No, I'm so tapped out. Shit. I'm going to tap two. Play this, return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand, to my tall ran with MTG girl. That works. Sure. Makes sense. Cool. And yeah, that's, that's good. Then you don't even have to pay the extra cost. <laughs> nice. That's pretty awesome. Um, okay. And then I'll take another turn, I guess. Yeah? It's fine by me. <laughs> Cool. So you can't untap your lands for this next turn. Nope, I just got two lands okay. hanging out. Okay. Um, I'll tap, I guess, two lands. That gives me six mana. Um, six mana. What do I want to do with that? Um, what do you want, Tom? Oh, yeah, it, it, they say exile oh. expropriate. Hmm? Your expropriate can go to the exile zone. Yeah, I just hang on oh, to remind me. Um, I'll play exile? six. Oh, exile. See you later. Okay. Um, I'll play a Forsaken Monument. Oh, okay, Alexa. Thanks. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I played a Forsaken Monument. Um, and then I'll move to, I guess, my combat phase again. And um, I'll swing at Sol Ring for five. I will block. Okay. Any responses? No. Anything else? No. No. Cool. Okay. So, so you cast you cast um for a oh, trample. Have you cast oh, anything trampled. else? Uh no. Okay. And it tramples for two. Sorry. Yeah. But... I just took it. Cool. Thank you. She's the truly colorless queen. Okay. Chill. Um, do they untap mm -hmm. now the lands? Uh, not the last two that you use for this extra turn. Okay. Um, yeah. All these as well. That's but cool. one thing. Um, yeah. 
The two that you okay. use, this one you can. Yeah. I'm wondering because okay, like if you tap a colorless, like this, the Yavi Maya Coast taps for colorless, and then your permanents tap for three times, and then Forsaken Monument adds another additional colorless. So does this tap for six, or does it tap for? It depends four? on how you stack the triggers. If I if I'm correct. You will get four, mm -hmm. someone says. No, it'll so get for four. Oh, you okay. Do? okay. Just wanted to know. Thank you. Other replacement effects. Four. Learning. Okay. Just something. Remember, yeah. Learn something Just remember new. the planet your mana. Learning something new every single day. <laughs> okay. I got to deal with that. Um, What's his face? Born Clex? Born Clex. He's got to go. So you know what I'm going to do? Four. Five. Oh shit. What that do makes sense. It traps. How do I get rid of him? He's at eight cost. You could Ugin. I could Ugin, but I can't Ugin oh, him. No, you can't. Is he a seven? Yeah, yeah Ugin comes in with seven loyalty. Oh. oh, well. Never mind. <laughs> well, um, I guess I have no choice, but to, so this taps for four, five, six, seven. I'm going to play all his dust. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Sounds perfect. That's a board wave, isn't it? Yep. Each player sacrifices all colored permanents he or she controls. All oh, permanents? So, oh. okay. <laughs> Wait, is that good Lance? No. No. Oh just like the Lance don't planet. have a color identity. Okay, go. <laughs> they just tap for mana. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. What a game. <laughs> yeah, it's the game that never ends. Okay, so just remember that those <laughs> lands that you just tapped for all this dust is not going to untap Are you next time. Anywhere? Correct. Yeah, these the, the two that were yeah. tapped do not untap. So yeah, I have three. Yeah, they run, they still won't, yeah. Yeah, so I have three whole freaking things here hanging out. Um, and now I don't I don't have the ability from uh, Nyx Bloom mm -hmm. anymore. Yeah. I keep this, though. Yeah. Um, yeah, you not be <laughs> what a game yeah thank you um unholy phoenix for reminding me to remove a counter from the land for mtg girl <laughs> he, he taps for two still over here just so you know what is the count what does that land even do uh it adds two mana right now and when you cast two more spells it becomes a 12 12 <gasps> oh that's good it's, oh. it's a sleeping kraken Okay, so I can tap. It's still a color permanent, even though, right? Oh, yeah, it is still it's a color still permanent. A permanent. Though, so I think it would actually be gone yeah. now. Thank oh, you. It's gone. Now I don't have Bye -bye. to worry about that anymore. Haha. -ha. All right, I'll just play a Salvala and I'll end my turn. Okay. <laughs> I think that comment mm -hmm. was towards you, MTG girl. If someone was playing Rogues, I doubt someone would have won. <laughs> Demir. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> hmm. I'll just recast my commander, I guess. Yeah, that sounds like six, a good idea. Six. She costs six now. And um. Uh, mm -hmm. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and. I'll tap my Amara for mana to get a soldier. So that I get a white mana. So one, two, three, four. I'll cast Watley Radiant Champion. Um, I could plus one or to put a, a loyalty counter on her for each creature I control. I only control two. Okay. Or a tiger okay. creature gets plus X plus X till end of turn, where X is the number of creatures I control. That's her minus one. Their ultimate is I get an emblem when whenever a creature enters uh, under my control, I draw a card. So I'm going to just plus one her. So she'll go to four. I put a loyalty counter for each creature, so she'll be at six. Dang. Dang. Damn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. She bounces. Uh, yeah, and then that's all I got. Pass turn. Okay. Plus X plus X is Okay. Crazy. Okay. Um, I, and what's your highest power creature right now? It's just a two, right? Everybody? Yeah. 
But you can't untap your lands because of Warren Clucks, remember? Oh, that's right. That's why I had my Starfield of Nyx, because I was going to be so cool and do stuff for free. <laughs> Yeah, so Salt Ring won't be able to untap those, and MTG Girl won't either. Uh, I'll just... So when when will they ever untap? Next turn. For your next turn. This just felt so long because MTG Girl had three uh, yeah. turns. I had three turns. Sorry. Yeah. Wait, so my cards don't my cards don't untap even though your Vorniclex is dead. Well, can yeah. I still it's you tap number. them while the Vorniclex was on the battlefield for the all of them? Yeah. Okay, so technically, don't two of my lands untap because at the, my last turn I couldn't untap two. Yes, yes those, those ones will untap. Okay. But I I tapped all my all my crap, so I get to do absolutely nothing. I'll pass turn. Cool. Um, so I can untap an artifact, right? Yes. Yeah. And no, no, I don't touch the lands. I'm strong. Another land. Okay. Yeah, a delayed a delayed effect. Are you lagging? No. You're, this is just born, Plex. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. I will pass turn. I'm also going to take a quick two second to go refill my water bottle, but I pass turn. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah, so just two of my lands are untapped, so these ones... Um, I get to scry because of my life crafters. I haven't been doing that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'll draw this card to my hand. Um, I guess. Can I even do anything, though? Um, can I do anything? Um... Oh, that's good. Um, to, if I pay one, Silvala can tap for two. Um, mm -hmm. so that gives me three mana, and I'll play a Basalt Monolith, and I'll end my turn. Okay. I'm tap, draw. Oh... No, I ran out of gas too. Okay, so let's try this. I'm gonna add plus one Hotly. Mm, no, I'm gonna tap the Spring Leaf Drum to tap Amara for our mana. And I'll get okay. another trigger. Uh, and, then <laughs> and then I'm going to plus one Hotly. So she'll be at seven. But then now I have three creatures, so she gets three more counters. So that's. And she's at 10 now. Wow. Thank goodness you can only activate it once and, per turn. Yep. Oh, I forgot to gain two life for a Forsaken Monument. Don't mind me. And, um... I don't know what Forsaken Monument is, but... I'm it going to much. tap... I'm going to tap two... Um, three... Or to return to dust the Forsaken Monument and your and your Basalt Monolith. I'm gonna exile target artifact or enchantment, but since it's my during my main phase, I get to exile oh one other target. Yeah, you did it right. I'll, I'll exile both of yours, the Forsaken <laughs> Monument and the Basalt Monolith. And that's all I got. That's I'm sad. I get to untap my lands. I'm much excited. I am much excited. I am much excited. Oh my goodness. I even drew stuff. What are we going to do now? Um, and there's like stuff on. Oh, but the Vorinclex is still out in the field. No, he's gone now. No, he's, he's gone. gone. He's, gone. <sighs> he's, he's been gone. Deep breaths. All right. <laughs> oh, what's up with the raid, Unicorn Fluff? Also, uh, thank you so much, Raiders, for being over here. We're playing some Commander. What were you up to tonight, Unicorn Fluff? And mods, can we get a shout out, please, for the Raiders? Uh, I'm going to cast Luminarch Ascension. Okay. Okay, great. Um, and then I'm going to play 
Um, a land for the turn, being a Selesnya Sanctuary, bouncing this here planes back to my hand. Um, I guess I could have played my commander first. I didn't know what I wanted to do yet, though. Do I want to play my commander? Um, you have to pay an increasing two each time. Yeah. That sucks. So... I think I want to play this. Um, yeah, we could do that. Um, yeah, I guess I did that in the wrong order, but that's okay. Um, we want to do this anyway. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I'm going to cast. Nylea's Colossus. Nylea's what? Um, when it or another enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, double target, double target creature's power and toughness until end of turn. So I'll make it a 12-12 with summoning sickness until end of turn and pizzazz the turn. Yeah, that's scary. Okay. Thank God tomorrow's oh. my day off. <laughs> <laughs> I know, over here it's uh, almost 12.30. Uh, I know, I thought we time. might get two games in, but at this rate I feel like this is the game. <laughs> we'll be lucky yeah. to finish one. <laughs> oh, what's up? And a raid from Jake. More EDH raiders coming over. Thank you so much for that raid from Elder Dragon Skyflander. If we could get a shout out for them. Thank you, mods are already on it. What's up? We got game one still going uh, about a, of two hours so far. We've had a three. Board wipes three, right? For a while right. it was stacks count three, now it's board wipe count three. Yeah. I'm going to tap four to put my Toleran out, and I will mm -hmm. pass turn. Mm -hmm. I'm Tolerant. going to put a... I uh, counter on Luminarch Ascension since I didn't lose life. Cool. My lands are finally on topping. Yeah, I'm gonna scry one. Um, I'll draw it. Play land for turn. Um, what you guys got? Um, is it time for another board wipe? <laughs> if you want, I guess, yeah. <laughs> I'm actually going to lose all my cards that do anything, though, because I'm wiping myself, too. Yeah. Um... I can't play this, really. Um, how much do you cost? You cost oh, I forgot about this. that. No, that's not helpful. Um, is this helpful? Maybe. I guess I'll tap, um... Mm -hmm. What's my life here? Yeah, okay, yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six, and uh -oh. I will play a Consecrated Sphinx. Nice. Nice. And I'll tap one, I'll tap Salvala, I think. Does that even do anything mm -hmm. for me, though? I don't know. So she would give me four, because my Sphinx... Um... Five. Thanks so much Nine. for the gifted sub, Elias Andrew. I hope you get to enjoy that Ellis Piv. I take that back, actually. I won't top Savala. 
Uh, oh, you know what? This is a four, so I get to draw a card because of Savalo's trigger. I know. I totally. Uh, I realized I forgot that. Everybody needs to remember that that applies to everybody. Yeah, I forgot. So, so the card. If you have a card that's bigger than a four six, you draw a card. Okay. Yeah. Well, so you don't get to draw a card, right? Oh, well, never mind. I don't. The uh, block is bigger than that. How yeah. big is it? It's a six six. Six six. Oh, never mind. Okay, I put it to the bottom. That, yeah, I I, sh I forgot it, but I it's fast, so. It is. My bad. See you okay. back to draw. Should I draw? Yeah, I'll just end my turn. Okay. Yeah, and whenever a opponent draws a card, I draw two cards because of my Sphinx. Okay, cool. Oh, man, that's going to be a lot of card draw then. Yeah. Oh. That's such a good card. I love that it's card. That's pretty good. Um, should I should I draw since I had cast that and it was an opponent spell, but it was two turns before we noticed, so I'm not really as concerned about it. But I don't know. I don't know. Matter to me. Yeah. Is it going to change the state of the game? I don't know. Maybe. Do you even have mana <laughs> open? I no, know. I don't have any mana no. open right now. You don't even have any. You can draw. You don't even okay. have anything open. So right. you're going to draw a counter spell. Perfect. Yeah, I, I just drew land anyway, so it doesn't. Perfect. Cool. Thanks. Uh, I'm just going to worldly tutor right now. Are Let's you drawing cards? I drew already for my turn. Okay, I'm drawing two cards. I need to look for a creature, right? Creature, 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 right? What I have on my graveyard? Hmm. Oh, you're making monkey noises. Why? I have a chinchilla next to me and he makes monkey noises. I don't know. Oh. You have a chinchilla? Yeah. Why well, haven't we seen this in any of your TikToks? He was in a TikTok. Oh, he was? Okay. Yeah. I just post so many, like, and I post them all at midnight so nobody sees them. Fair. <laughs> yeah, TikTok's algorithm sucks right now. <laughs> That's okay. Are you playing Elish? Are you getting Elish Norn? Oh, I'm putting it on top of my library. Okay. okay. You're disgusting. I love it. Predator. Sorry, sorry that Predator. What card? That card's what, gross. What card I'm is that? It on top. Elish Norn. Uh, Elish Norn. Yeah, creatures I control. Eleanor, come. Two other creatures. And a creature my opponents control get minus two, minus two. Yeah, it's like a board wipe for tokens, basically. Yeah, yeah, kind of, yeah. Yeah. And then I'm going to minus eight Quatly, so she'll be left at two. And I get an emblem for whenever a creature enters the battlefield, I get a draw card. Chinchilla scream to get my attention. He doesn't scream. He just sounds like a monkey. I'm gonna put my spoon on to tap Amara to get another soldier, so I'll have three soldiers. Uh, two of them can attack and two of them can't, so just like that, I get a soldier. <laughs> One of them can't. Did somebody fart? <laughs> so does my draw. tall ran die? Well, no, not yet. Uh, okay. I draw a card, so I don't know if MTG girl wants to draw a card. Oh, I can draw two. Yeah. That's two. Sick. Three, four. Oh. Five, six. I'm going to attempt to cast Elish Norn. <gasps> and can you, is that the one where opponents... Get minus yeah, two. Yeah, opponent creatures get minus two, minus two. And what happens with yours? Mine get plus two, plus two. Um, would anybody Stop. else, anything else on the field die besides mine? <laughs> well, I no. think Savala is two, right? No, she's a two, three, so she's actually a, a, zero, okay. a zero, one. Okay. Um... And you, you have four men untapped? Yeah. Let's see. And I have one white mana floating. I wish I could draw uh, more cards. I'm going to tap two. Um, counter target spell unless this controller pays one for each blue permanent you control. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Your lands eight. are blue. No, no, islands don't count as blue permanents. They're they're not they're not they don't have color. It's based oh, okay. on the map. Yeah. So you only okay. have one blue permanent. So I guess that dies and that dies. 
Well, I mean, okay. yeah. Well, the counter spell you, doesn't. Yeah, keep it. You can use it. Yeah, you okay. can keep your counter spell. Yeah, so then I'll draw off of Elishnorn. MTG girl. Yes. I draw, so. I drew so MPG girl could draw too. If she <gasps> I get to draw cards. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. Mm. Oh, I'm. I love this. Okay. You have no maximum hand size, MTG girl. I do have maximum hand size, but I discard on my turn, right? Correct. No, no I said no, no maximum. Until the end of your own turn. I do. No, I can only have seven, but I have to keep drawing. How when do I discard them? No, uh, you only discard them until the end of your turn. Yep. So you yeah, keep so them. I, until, I don't. Yeah. I don't have a reliquary tower right now. So, and I don't mm. have a thought vessel right now. Yeah. Uh, so you don't have to discard or now. a spell book right now. Okay. <laughs> mm. The Elish Norn is nasty. It's a four six. Damn. Yeah, mm. it's a four six. So I gotta protect myself. I'm almost dead. I, I don't know what you've been talking about. I've been yeah, at 15 so I'm gonna for a swing long time. So I'm swinging at Soul Ring for six. Yeah, six. I'm swinging at Soul Ring for six. Yep. And I gain six. And I'll go. That's it. Pass turn. Okay. I did not lose any life, so I'll add another counter here. Uh, Are you drawing? I will go to my draw step. I will untap. <laughs> oh. I will upkeep. And I will draw. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, I will... Um, I will play a land for the turn. It's a plains. Um, I will, hmm, hmm, decisions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this seems like the right thing to do. Um, Elish Norn is a problem, mm -hmm. kind of a little bit. Are we scared about Watley? Not really. Oh, I already ultimated her. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say you already ultimated her. What's yeah? yeah you're... I guess the ultimate her turn. Um, one, two, three. No, we'll not run soon. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, five. <laughs> Oh, sorry. That's not sorry. That's from my hand. I'm not not doing that. Uh, six from the battlefield. I'm gonna play archetype of imagination. Um, Oop. So that's good. trigger. Um, whenever another enchantment enters, I can dar double target creatures' power and toughness till end of turn. Um, so I'll mm -hmm. choose Nylea's Colossus. So it's a twelve twelve. Creatures I can mm -hmm. control have flying, and opponents' creatures lose flying and cannot gain it. Um, and then I'm going to just send some love over to Shay, because you attacked me the very first move of the game, and I remembered. <laughs> My first and attack I'll... of the entire game, folks. Here it is. Well... <laughs> That's all. And it's in the air. It's 12 in the air. Uh, I Elish took Norn, it in the Okay. Um, and then um, that's like, um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pass. Draw for turn. Oh, I guess I'm drawing. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, wait. Sorry, I didn't take 12. Okay, why not? I took 8. So, 4 more? Because of my... No. Because Elish Norn gives it minus 2. Oh, thank you, thank oh, you. Sure. Yeah, it's okay. only a 10-10. Excuse me. Yeah. Well, actually, hang on. Since it started off, that I take that back. 
since it started off as a four four when my yeah. creature entered it doubles to four so it's actually an eight eight yeah I took, the, I took the eight i did my life there okay yeah Oh, yeah. Oh, I shouldn't even play the archetype, huh? Oh, damn. That's dumb. Yep, archetype dies. Does it even enter the battlefield? Um, oh, I don't even know. Yeah, how it to... What? It, it's how small is it? I thought it was bigger. I thought it was bigger, too. I can't read. It's a 3-2, so it just oh, automatically yeah. dies. Okay, that's fine. I still oh, yeah. get my trigger. Yeah. That's fine. I'll yeah. still take my trigger. Constance created Sphinx still has flying. Yes. All right. Yeah. Well, that works. Well, it didn't That's when nice. Archetype was a permanent, so. Cool. All right. Well, I got my hidden. I'm satisfied. <laughs> All right. So I already draw for turn, and I'm going to tap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to play another Sphinx. Sphinx of the final word. Um, it's a five, five. Um, it can't be countered. It has flying and hexproof. Instants and sorcery spells you control can't be countered by spells or abilities in all past turns. That's pretty good. Cool. Mm -hmm. Nice. Nice. Um, how big is Elish Norn? It's a 4-7. What's its converted mana cost? 7. 7. Yep. And I will gain a counter here. I'm not losing life. Makes me... Things that make you think, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight lands. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I guess I could tap for a total of seven. Tap one. I could tap so oh god, I don't know if I want to do that. Mm. What does this do? What do I want to do right now? Um, what would be favored? Do, like, do we need another board wipe? I mean, I guess it wouldn't hurt since. I mean, I don't know. I'm. I don't care. I am indifferent to that question. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's however you want. It's however I want. Yeah. I don't like that. Elish Norn. Um, I guess I'll tap. Yeah, so I'll tap seven, then tap one to tap Selvala, and um, mm -hmm. that will tap for another four. So that gives me 11, right? Shit, but I just draw huh, the card. <laughs> I'm Team Board Wipe. <laughs> this fall, I think this fall. Um, yeah, I'll tap for 11. Um, I'll play... She, she only taps for 2 mana because of Elish Norn, they say? Huh? Oh, so 9? No. Because your Constance oh, created yeah, Sphinx is a 2-4. Oh. Well, that's okay, I guess. Uh, anything that taps for 2? No. Um, that's okay. I will, yeah, tap a, that's fine. It taps for two. I'll play Ugin. Um, Wait, all did you pay the, pay the who? Pay the who? The, it's, how much does Ugin cost? Eight? Eight. eight. Did you tap eight mana? Because yeah, I'll only tap the two. Oh, five. Okay, I didn't see that. Yeah, there's some here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is seven. Mm -hmm. So if I top another one. That looks good. Then that tops Silvala for two, right? But, so, well, yeah. So you have one floating? Or is there an extra? So one floating and one extra? What, what do you... Right? Yeah? I don't have to pay extra for Ugin, right? 
No, no, no. I'm just asking if you paid the eight for Ugin because it looked like yeah, you I paid did. less. Okay. No, no, I did. Okay. Yeah. So that's fine. No. Um. So Ugin, all minus. I guess seven for Ugin. Okay. Perfect. Ah. Uh, perfect. You're minusing seven on Ugin. Yeah. Damn. I thought you were actually gonna do a an actual board wipe, not um. Dang, I finally got those counters up here. I can't even, it doesn't even matter if I respond. Boom. And what did, what did uh, your, what's the U Ugin read for minus seven? Um, ah. Exile each permanent with converted mana cost seven or less. That's one or more colors. So non colorless can stay, but everything else seven or less has to go. Yeah. Um, I saw floating mana from this, right? This okay. is one? Yeah. So can I tap one and then play Thought Vessel? Yeah. So, okay. There is your no maximum hand size. How many cards do you have in hand now? A lot. Okay. Well. Seven, eight, I, have, I have 12 cards in my hand. Nice. Okay, that's that all it? I can do. Yeah, sorry. Oh, sorry, not draw. sorry. <laughs> I still have a Watley Watley um emblem emblem still though. Give so us, I still like never could see because I draw. That's awesome. Watley em uh the emblem from my from my planeswalker. I still have that. Oh, that doesn't go away. Okay. Yeah, so whenever a creature enters, I draw. Sick. That's good. I'm happy for so you. <laughs> Or I'm gonna attempt this again. Ugin exiles Six. This in is case the most amount of times I've for my commander. Eight for my commander. I'll draw a card. <laughs> I'll play a land, Savannah. I'll tap Amara for one white mana, getting me a soldier. I'll draw another card. I'll pay. Three. Mm. Puppet strings. I get to pay two to tap or untap a target creature. I still have one mana floating, one white mana floating. I'm going to use that and um, actually, it doesn't matter. Um, I'll use that white mana and this for an even mind sensor. So you guys, if you search your library, you only search the top four cards of your library instead. Okay. And I get to draw a card. Okay. Cool. That's it. Pass turn. Okay. And I think your if you had anything on the battlefield, is it in your graveyard or exiled from Ugin? As I think your Watley would. Be oh, there. that's right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No Thank worries. So, that was the thing to chat. I totally forgot. So. Yeah, it's exiled. My bad. Yeah. Um. Okay. Untap, upkeep, a draw. Sick. Okay. Well, now I'm just going to, like, do whatever I want now that all the, like, whatever is out of the way here. Yeah. Um, I'm going to play my land for the turn, and then I'm going to pay one, two, three, four, let's, let's tap our mana. Oh, we have plenty of mana and stuff. Five. This is only my second time casting my commander, so it's just two extra. Uh, Tuvasa is back. Guess who's back? Back again. Tuvasa's back. Tell a friend. Um, I'm going to play, uh, for two, I'm going to cast Eel Umbra, targeting two Vasa. I guess I could flash it in, but I don't even care. I just want to draw cards. Is that resolved? Yeah. Okay. On my side. Sick. Um, oh, cool. That's fun. Um, then I'm going to... Mm, Play. I'm going to play Yava Maya Enchantress. She gets plus one, plus one for each enchantment on the battlefield. Okay. Uh, which there's not that many of right now. But uh, with that... I'm going to pass my turn. I feel like I got some stuff out there, finally. <laughs> nice. For now. <laughs> For now. 
<laughs> yeah, what happened to Ugin, by the way? I um we had to minus him completely. He's in the graveyard then, huh? Yeah, he's dead. Okay, he's sick. dead. Phew. No more Ugin. For now. For now, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna play um my mired landscape. It enters battlefield tapped. I can tap it in the future for one colorless mana. Cool. Or pay two to and uh, sack it for two basic lands. Oh my god. I mm -hmm. need more card draw. Um... I will pass turn. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. All right, I'm going to scry one. And... Nah, okay, I'll see you later. Thank you. Do any of you have like any graveyard cast cards? Like what do you mean? Good targets? Like like things you can escape or Oh, uh no. Not me. Okay, I'm gonna put not, this not in my library. Don't need that right now. <laughs> and I'll draw for a turn. Um <clears throat> Oh that's sick, okay. Damn, what do I wanna play? There's so many options because I have like twenty cards in my hand. Um I'll play a Rogue's Passage. Sorry, these are untapped. Um, I believe I have 11 mana hanging out here. I will... What will I do? Um, who's got mana? Soul Ring's got all the mana. I have so, two untapped okay. mana. Oh, she's got two on top? No, I, I have two. Okay. That's all. That kind of scares me. Soul Ringer, do you look in the counter some spells? <laughs> I, don't like the, I don't like the laugh. <laughs> How many cards do you have in the hand, Soul Ring? Four. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm trying to count here. Why is everything so expensive? Okay, I guess I can do, um, I'll tap, one, two, three, four, five, and I'll play a Seedborn Muse. Whoa. Oh, second Blue. one of the night. Is that okay? <gasps> well, he's coming. Um, sorry, my brain is broken. Um, I guess with the other six mana I have. Um, one, two, three, this is five. Thought Missile taps for one. I'll play an aggressive mammoth. Okay, what does that do? Uh, it's a trample, eight, eight, gives other creatures trample. Okay. It's a six cost, eight, eight, that's a pretty good card, just by the way. It's a pretty an aggressive elephant. Get him some counseling. Yeah. And, um... Same game. Yeah, same game. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, there's two different Ugins. Um, yeah, I, I think I end my turn. Cool. Okay, so untap. I want to untap my permanence too. Draw. Because of Seedborn. Mm -hmm. I wish I had more card draw. I want to lodge for turn. I'm going to go to combat right now. So I'm going to swing at Soul Ring for two. Bring me a soldier. Get that commander damage. Hoo ha. <laughs> oh, is that commander damage? Yeah. Yeah. I I haven't hit really with her, so I don't think it matters. I've I've got the two, um, I remember. And then I'm gonna pay a green and tap my wirewood lodge to untap the Mara. And then I'm going to tap my Springleaf Drum to tap Amara for, let's tap her for white. 
gives me another soldier and I'll draw a card. Have a white floating so one two three four five i'll cast camaraderie gain x life and draw x cards with x is the number of creatures i control and they get plus one plus one till end of turn okay mm-hmm. so i'm going to draw one two three or five cards and gain five life two three four five and gain five life I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna pay three for this. Is a growing rights of Vithlamok. Is just the check card because they're clear sleeves. Yeah. But I have the card right here. Okay. Um. So when it enters, I look at the top four cards. I may reveal creature, put them into my hand, and the rest into the bottom of my library. So I'll reveal top four, two, three, four. They're not a creature, so I just put them to the bottom. Um. And then just in case we have any more canon shenanigans, I'm going to play a Graph Digger's Cage. Oh! The cards, future cards in graveyards and libraries cannot enter the li- the battlefield. Good what? thing I already played my Corsair Fubix. Yeah. Cards from where can I, can't enter? From libraries or graveyards can't enter. Oh, so I can't use my canon ability. Yeah. Wait, from our from our libraries too? Yeah, well, you could draw and like play stuff, but if you're gonna play from your light, like how oh, yeah. girl... like an ability okay. to place cards for free, you can't do it. Uh, yeah. yeah, like my yeah, of Krupix, I couldn't play those lands from my library. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. And then. I'm just gonna go to my end step and my growing rights flips. <gasps> you have growing rights with Illamalk? Yeah, she just yeah, played it. And it, yeah. it turns okay. into a little guy's cradle, and I'm gonna pass the turn. All right. I, I have eight wait, cards I, in hand. I, so I, 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 I can't. I, how do I? I don't have response. Oh, well, I'm gonna go to discard and discard a win to a P. And that's it. Pass the turn. Okay, I'm untapping, I'm upkeeping, I'm drawing. Um, I'm going to play, uh, Nylea. She's just an enchantment right now, since my devotion is only equal to three. I'll draw a card for casting my first enchantment this turn. Ooh, that's a good draw. Um, I'll tap two for uh, Herald of the Pantheon. Uh, Enchantment spells cost one less to cast. Whenever I cast an enchantment, you gain a life. Um, Nylea still is not active yet. Uh, Play a land for the turn, being a reliquary tower. Now, I have no maximum hand size, but I have two cards in my hand. So, (laughs) eventually, eventually we'll get there. Um... And then, um, I like Shay. You got so many things going on over there. There's like an aggressive mammoth over there. I I am so on defense. I feel like, um, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna stay on the defensive and say, pass turn. I know, I'm scared too. Mm-hmm. Even with my man math. And I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. I don't think I have any responses to anything. I'll be right back. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna play an island for turn. I'm going to tap one, two. And I'm going to tap this to sacrifice it. And I'm gonna search my library for two basic land cards and put oh, them onto the battlefield tap. Oh. What? Well, because I have Aven Mind Sensor on the board, you could only search the top four cards of your library. 
you're going to search. Sure. Uh, uh, okay, wait. Scary. Mm, risky. Love uh, it. You know what? Yeah. I'll, I'll risk it. Ooh, okay. So that means I can't even search for lands, like with the Cultivate? No. That's well, sick. you can, but you're top four. That's, that's risky. I love risky shit. Here I go. Let's see what's in the top four. Let's see you get lucky. Um, and it goes uh, into the battlefield tapped. So I got one. Okay. Um, and then I will shuffle my library. And that comes in tapped. I'm going to shuffle. And other than that, I will pass turn. Eleanor, come! Cool. All right. I'll scry one. What we got? Um, Not for us. That could be useful. I'll keep it, I guess. Um, so I draw for turn. I will. What will I do? Um, Come! I guess. Shit, I don't know what I want to do. I guess this could be okay. Um, one, two, um, this will tap for colorless, three, um, four, five, six, seven, actually, you know what? Not tapping that. Bad counting. Keep these. Why can't I count? Okay, do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, nine. Uh, what am I doing? Um, I guess I'll do 11. It's fine. Tap 11. I'll throw in an Ulamog, Infinite Gyre. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're just casually playing an Ulamog? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what one is an Ulamog of what? The Infinite Ulamog. Gyre. The one with Annihilator 4, right? Uh, yeah. Yes. And I'll play Simic Growth Chamber. It enters tapped. I'll return. Um, ba -ba -da -da -da. I'll return something to my hand. I'll return a forest to my hand. Um, cool. Did and you cast it or did it, did it get into play for free? I cast, cast it. it. Oh, what did you destroy? Did. What did you destroy? Well, I didn't destroy anything yet. He annihilates when he attacks. No, but he has an, a cast oh, trigger. Oh, oh, shit. He has a cast trigger. Who, who wants... Who has something that I should destroy? Um, I'm bad at the spell table thing because I can't read the cards. Um, um, who's my biggest threat well, here? For well, you, Graph Digger Cage. For you, I think, because Kinnon, you know? Yeah, for you, Graph Digger Cage. my opinion? Oh, the is thing that gets rid of the abilities. Yeah, get rid of that. Yeah, okay. Thank you. <laughs> is that destroyed? Okay, cool. Cool. Okay. Um, I guess I'll... Who's, who's open for... Um, I have eight trample damage. I'm open butthole. <laughs> You're an open butthole? <laughs> All right, I'll shoot eight trample damage at, uh, at Soul Ring. Were you the one that said that? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Oh yeah, I took it. You took it. Cool, cool, cool. Sorry, I wasn't looking. Um, I guess that's it. I okay. moved to my end step. I had my turn. Anything on my end step? No, I got nothing. You got nothing. Okay. Cool. I'll draw for turn. You'll draw. <laughs> All right. I'm untapping my permanent because I have Seedborn Muse. Mhm. Mm and I'm not okay. drawing anything. So I'm going to tap my Springleaf Drum. 
tap a Mara for a white mana with hope. And I'm going to create another soldier. I have three soldiers here that can attack. Three soldiers and one with summoning sickness, and I get a draw card. Uh-huh. Uh. And then I guess I'll pay two to tap my puppet strings, strings to untap Amara. Actually, that was wrong. Whatever, I already did it. Um... Sorry, you're the only one that's open, so I have to swing at you for two. Okay. I'm swing at you for two. That yeah. gives me another soldier. And I'll draw a card. Stop licking my phone. And then I'm going to pay one, two, three for a Stony Book Scroll Master. He's another Amara. He, whenever he taps, I get a Marfolk. Sick. When he enters, I draw a card. Thanks so much for the resub, Kaylee. Three months. I love you. Eleonora says thank you. Aww. And then I'll pay four for a glare of subdual. I just noticed. I could tap and untap. I could tap and untap creature to tap target artifact or creature. What is that? I get a tap and untap creature to tap an artifact or creature. It's an enchantment. Uh, is that infinite? No. No, it's just for me to tap your stuff down. So you want to tap my stuff? I'm gonna do it now. You're obviously the threat. No chance, buddy. No, I'm, gonna tap, little, stuff. I'm gonna tap your little Ulama. <laughs> your little Ulama. <laughs> he's, just gonna, one one. he's just gonna untap anyways, right? It's okay. Well, I need a draw, that's why. Oh, okay, okay. Cool. So I'm gonna get a Merfolk, but I have a squirrel token. I don't have a Merfolk, so I'll draw a card. Yeah. And, Are you going to um, your stuff? Not yet. Okay. Cool. Then I'm going to pay two. I feel like I have to do this, so I'm going to do it now. I'm going to cast a Gaddock Teague. Whoa! So non-creature spells with CMC4 or greater can't be cast. Non-creature spells with X in their mana cost can't be Wait, cast. Wait, is it four okay, before or you greater? Do that, yeah, I might have a response. Can you have a response? Um, ooh, okay. Um, you have a response? Oh, with X. So it's not battle. on the battlefield yet, then? It's not resolved yet, no. No. Not yet. Yeah, it's not uh, It's on the stack. I'm gonna yeah. tap, um, I'm gonna tap how many yeah, commands? One. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, I'm gonna play Thassa's Oracle for nine, so it counters your target spell unless you pay nine or double nine. Sorry, unless you Thassa's pay. Oracle? Are you counting? Thassa's that? intervention. Thassa's intervention. I'm sorry. Okay, I was like, Thassa's Oracle is a creature. Yeah. <laughs> unless you I pay, pay nine. Unless you pay eighteen. Sorry. How much? Eighteen. Eighteen? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cause is that right? Pays mm, twice yeah. X. I tapped for eleven, so it's X plus mm. two blue mana. So counter target spell unless its controller pays twice X. So you paid how much? Seventeen into the X. Uh, I paid eleven, but if you have to pay total? double to counter the spell, or sorry, or the, like to count to, you can't. You paid eleven in total, or eleven and the eleven two total. So nine times two is eighteen. So you have to pay eighteen, or I counter okay, your spell. Okay. Mm, yeah, it, it gets countered. I'll, I'll let it get countered. <laughs> okay. I'll let it get countered. I was gonna use that to draw cards, but I'm like, I might not get a counter spell. So, so let's just um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm just gonna go to my end step and discard a forest. Cool. Okay, my turn. Yeah. Okay. Um, untap, upkeep, draw. Oh, sick. Um, I'm going to pay uh, two because my enchantments cost one less. And I'm going to play Enchantress's Presence. Whenever I cast an enchantment spell, I draw a card. 
It's not resolved yet, but I do get the cast spell from Tuvasa for my first enchantment. So I'll drop that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play this basic land for the turn. Oh, and I gain a life because casting the enchantment spell off of Harold's uh, deal. Okay, there we go. Um, I've got Nylea is online now since I have a devotion equal to five. Um, what's up, Nylea? Okay, Ulamog, what the heck is going on here? You're a 10 10 indestructible. That's no fun. No, it's not. Okay. I uh, can't do anything about that right now. Um, dang, I don't know. Uh, well, Sol Ring's keeping us alive here with the counter spells. Shay, you're, you've got some stuff going on. Both you and MTG Girl are probs. Um, oh yeah, you can, you can do stuff before combat, huh? Okay, I'm gonna move to combat. That's good. I have no response. Okay. Um, I will... What's, what creatures do you have untapped? A 2-2, two, two, a 1-1, one, one, a bunch of 1-1s. One, you have a ton of 1-1s. One, yeah, a bunch of 1-1s. have 1-1s. One, one. uh, and a 2-1. Dang, everything's really big. Um, I guess this stuff does have the trample, so. Okay, uh, 1, 2, Um. Okay, I'm going to send a 6-6. Six, six, over to you, Shay, and, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Does it have trample or something? It does. Um, other creatures I control have trample because of oh. Nylea. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. No blocks? No. Oh. I took it. Okay, well, with four damage after blo no blockers are declared, I'm going to mm -hmm. use Nylea's ability to give it plus two, plus two, just one time. So you take eight. Okay. That's then it. 29. Um, I really would have attacked MTG Girl if Ulamog was out of the way, but yeah. mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to pass That's turn. Sorry. All right. Happy hour three, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Has it actually see. been that long? Yeah. Damn. We're having fun over here. It's a marathon. Uh, one, two, three, four. It's gonna be so hard to stand up after this is over. This is gonna be the long. This video is gonna take so long to upload to YouTube. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> one, two, three. This is actually the longest game I've ever played. Yeah, same. Not, not in a bad way. Like, it's fine. I definitely but... cool. I like it. <laughs> it's, just really, I like it. it's, it's, it's partially my fault. It's this long, too. So <laughs> I can't really complain. I've had a couple of three oh, right, so I tap, <laughs> I tap seven. And I'm going to play Wind Rider Sphinx. It's a three seven. And it's, it has flying. And whenever a creature with flying attacks, you may draw a card. Nice. So when... A creature, anybody, anybody. Oh, sounds good. My sounds... first uh, draw card of the night, you know, pretty excited. And with that, I will pass the turn. Cool. Is it my turn again? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Scry one. Oh, I like that. Cool. Um, I'll draw. I'll play Maze of Earth. The Ooh. land. That's a sexy land. How is that land so good? Sorry, I, I, I've never actually read it before. I'm like, oh, damn. Growing rice? Okay. Um, or what? What will I do? How or much mana do I have now? I should really count on other people's turns. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, because the, the growth chamber tops are two. Twelve. Thirteen. Okay, so thirteen. You can guess what cards I can play for thirteen. Um... 
But do I want to do that right now? Probably not. Um, I'll tap one, two, three, four. Or sorry, no. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll play Archetype of Endurance. Oh, I will respond to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to tap three of my soldiers to tap down the other three of your creatures. Yeah, Maze doesn't tap mm. for mana, just so you know. So you're going to tap three of my creatures? Yeah. The Ulamog, the Trampler, and the Seedborn Muse. Before he enters. Okay. Cool. Yep, 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 yep. You're lucky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Four. Five. Damn it, I need to play Kanan. He's just hanging out in the command zone. Why does he cost so much to play? <laughs> he costs six now. I have five. Um what will I do? I guess um I'll tap. Four, one, two, three. I'll tap. You have, four. you have one more. You have one more mana that you need to tap for something different because Maze of Vis doesn't tap for colorless. From we're casting, uh, whatever you cast before that. Eh? For archetype. Yeah, Maze of Vis. Yeah. It doesn't tap for colorless. It only untaps an attacking creature. Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah, okay. it doesn't tap. For it's her. one of the few lands that does not also tap for colorless. Oh, no way. Okay, cool. That's I've totally facts. done it before. Right. On accident, that's yeah. Oh, that's cool, though. So I can just stop combat damage from happening. It's like a spore frog in yeah. a land form. Yeah, for one, I one love creature. That. Yeah, well, that's how you know I said. I didn't read it before, so thank hey, you for catching Hey, we are the that. Don't Read the Club team. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so he'll just hang out here. I'll tap the additional land. Um, I believe... How many did I have left? I had these left, so I'll tap another blue. Um, and then I'll tap... Uh, wait, what? The hell just happened? So that cost me eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight. Okay. Now I'm confused. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, so that's eight. And then I have four still. So, um, uh, with the four remaining, I'll play, um, can we still not search our libraries? Only no, the top four you can only search the top four. Okay, I'll play Beast Whisperer. Okay. okay. Cool. And with that, I will end my turn. Yes? Okay. I can't talk because you tap my guys, so. Yeah. Yeah, but they untap now, so at least I can have block. To do that. So I have four soldiers here. Move this one aside. And tap everything. I'll draw. He's in the command zone. So I'm gonna tap my spring leaf drum to tap Amara for mana. I get a soldier that can attack, so I will draw a card. And I'm gonna go ahead and two. Four, six, I'm going to cast Elspeth, Sun's Champion. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Um, yeah, I could plus one her to put three soldiers onto the battlefield, or minus three to destroy all creatures, power four or greater. Or, and then the ultimate's at minus seven, which I don't think we're going to get there. Um, so I'm going to minus three to destroy all creatures, power four or greater. She'll be at one. Uh, uh all creatures power four or you're destroying all creatures power four or greater yes and that's that's a planeswalker that does that yes wow that's broken it's pretty good all right Wait, so is it i have hex proof so that doesn't count right no no because no, i'm not targeting it's just a mass effect ah okay your your Ulamog though is indestructible, so Ulamog will stick around. Yeah. Does he actually? That's yeah. it. Yeah. 
So hexproof dies, but um, indestructible doesn't. Correct. Yeah. Hexproof just can't be um, targeted. Yeah, like I can't path to exile or anything. That's cool. Okay. Use my um my graveyard shuffle. I wouldn't have minded, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna tap my soldier to tap down your Ulamog. The one oh. with summoning quickness. I'll tap down your Ulamog so I could swing in for freebies. I like I am not gonna lie, I'm liking the sound of that. <laughs> Sorry, uh, girl. What, what are you talking me with? Oh well, I'm not yet. Not yet. I'm gonna tap my four to tap my wirewood lodge to untap Amara. Mm. So I have Four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten creatures on the board. So I'm gonna tap this for ten mana, and I'm gonna attempt to create a hook. Create a hook. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm gonna attempt. Let's see if that happens. Uh, I I don't think I have any response to that, so I will pass my priority. Ugh. Barf. That's gross. Not Any Crater Hub. Shit. I don't know. What have... was the name of that one? Crater Hub Behemoth. I hate that spell. I'll put it on the And I still have two green mana floating off of her. Continue. Oh, okay. So it resolves. So all my yep. creatures yeah. will get plus 11, plus 11, and trample. Oh, so yeah. Turn. Are you going to spread the love? Yeah. So I'm going to swing. Yeah, I'll swing at. TG girl in the air with my Aven Mind Sensor. I will swing Amara over at Soul Ring MTG. Um, it's a, I don't know, it's pretty big. Um, and then how many blockers do you have? Um, I have three. You have two blockers only, right, Cebex? Oh yeah, I lost devotion. You're right. I lost devotion. I only have two blockers. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and swing out. I'll just swing out completely. Let's I think you, I think you will have it if you swing out. I I don't I don't. Yeah. I'm just gonna swing out. So how much damage total are you doing to me? To you, I'm doing well. Let's see. I'm gonna shoot these four at Zbex. I'm gonna shoot Crater Hoof and Aven Mind Sensor at you because you have a maze of it there. there. Plus eleven, plus eleven, uh -huh. right? 10, plus 11. Yeah, yeah. So. Mm, plus 11, plus 11. Yeah, so I'm going to swing three creatures at you, actually, to be safe. <laughs> swinging four and swinging these one, two, three at Soul Ring. Oh, and what's the total coming to me? Uh, it's going to be 11. This is 13 commander damage. This is going to be 12. So that's. Uh, and they all have yeah. trample. 13 plus 12 plus 12. It's coming at Soul Ring. Do you have any enchantment creatures? Well, you can just do 12 and then point the other two at the other people. Yeah. Do you have well, any enchantment creatures? Well, it's because I out. Pardon? Do you have any enchantment creatures, Shay? Enchantment creatures? Yeah. No. Okay, just curious. I had a card in my hand. I don't know what could be relevant, but it's not. <laughs> okay, so that's how I'm swinging out. Four soldiers at Zbex, three creatures at Soul Ring, and three at. MTV. I'm dead. I'm so dead. <laughs> GG. I'm pretty sure I'm dead. I can just prevent one damage, like from one of them. Yeah. But well, yeah. I you can... like get rid of the. Yeah. It's still dealing twenty something. Cool. GG. Good game. That was so great. Good game, I everybody. You had that card. Damn, I should have kept my thoughts for that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you saw that you saw that in her hand, huh? I know I did. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, that's crazy. I completely forgot. I was like, oh, that's disgusting. Oh my god. I hate that card so much, but I forgot. I didn't yeah. think you'd get back to that state with so many cards. But yeah, yeah. I was gonna use it the first time a long time ago, but Soul Ring had a propaganda. Um, I was like, oh. <laughs> well, we're not done <laughs> here yet. Let's have I had all. A big board I was like, let's have all yeah, of you say. Say, uh, say a little good night for anybody who came for EDH. I just want to remind everybody who's here that the stream is not over. We're about to boot up Among Us um, for anybody who wants to stick around. But before we do that, let's go around the table in turn order again and tell everybody who wasn't here at the beginning who you are, where they can find you and follow you. And yeah.
Hey, I guess I'll start. Hi, everybody. Soaring MTG. I make magic gathering content on TikTok and on Instagram. I'm from the east coast of Canada, from a small island called Prince Edward Island. And uh, next time, I'm quite excited to play, and I think I'll whip out my veto deck for some Ooh. fun. Yeah. Cool. Oh, I have, I have to go, don't I? Yeah, you should say <laughs> something. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. Um, I go as MTG Girl on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, wherever you want to find me. It's underscore here on Twitch because my name is already taken. Um, I don't. What are we supposed to say again? Good night. Um, uh, just for, for people watching. to follow you. Just this is your chance to shout out whatever you want. Oh uh, yeah! Shout out to me. Follow me. Um, and thank you all for watching. You guys are all amazing. Thank you for all the great commentary. That was super helpful and engaging. And I had so much fun. Yeah, I'd love to do this all the time if I could. So yeah, yeah. Thank you guys, and have a good night. Hi guys, I'm Idolana of Blossoms. You could find me over on TikTok and Instagram at Idolana of Blossoms. Mtg. I make cringy internet videos over the internet. And also check out a podcast episode that I just came out in for, uh, just for fun. It was a magic, magic podcast episode uh, with Half Step Down Podcast. Uh, links in my bio if you want to check it out. Awesome. And yeah. Thank you all also for playing and making this happen. This is pretty cool. I would love to have yeah, you all so again. Good. This was so great. Um, so if you guys want to do this again, we can talk about that in our DMs. Um, yes, it was please. so fabulous. I would love to play a different deck because I feel like I could play a slightly powered more deck and it'd be okay. But... Same. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I think we all agree. Um, we yeah. could all do that. Uh, it, was, it was great games though, super fun and balanced. Um, I'm so happy to have you all here. Thanks everybody for tuning in. And just a reminder, um, you can follow me at Zbex on like every platform. If you like any of my TikToks, you're gonna love any of these girls' TikToks. Um, I think all of our content though, it's different and has its own unique spin. I think if you like magic, you'll enjoy the humor that we provide.